We're playing Crescent City Cargo with Jason Dinger and the folks from Sobo. Hi, folks from Sobo and Jason Dinger. Hey, hey. Jesse. Hey. <laughs> so this is a game we have played before. Check it out on YouTube.com slash iHeartBoardGames if you want to see that playthrough that we did before. While the Kickstarter was going on, this one is just as the backers, or just as the shipping notifications are going out, I suppose. I was checking my actual notifications on this game and said, shipping begins. That's the latest one. So everyone excited for shipping beginning? <laughs> Absolutely. In more ways than one. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, Jason, how are you doing this morning? I'm awake now. I wasn't when we started this process about uh, 30 minutes ago with like everything that happened. <laughs> so you got to love computers. Yeah, that is something to bring up. We are on a new version of Vassal. It's given us some questionable results, and hopefully it goes through without a problem. But if it does, stand by. We'll get it figured out. And, uh, yeah, everything appears to be in working order now. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Um, so yeah, how do you feel about this uh, finally getting into the hands of some backers, Jason? I'm really excited. Um, one of those things when you deal with something like a, you know, this is the first time I've ever dealt with Kickstarter um, from a creator standpoint. Mm -hmm. And normally I'm a, I'm gonna back it and forget it kind of, you know, kind of backer. I don't really worry, but the idea of and delays happen. I know that, but the idea of like it being delayed even by what's it been like a few months. Mm -hmm. um, it just killed me knowing that people had, you know, they, they paid their hard earned money and didn't have the game yet. And most people understood. And, you know, I, I really didn't, didn't get any complaints about the delay itself, especially with the way the, the last year has been, you know, um, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> but, but my personality is such that like, I, like I personally, I didn't, but I personally wanted to reach out to like each one and, you know, just, give my heartfelt ap apology for any delay. So to know that they are shipping soon, I'm, I'm really excited and, and hope that, you know, everything goes well, everybody gets them soon and, and enjoy them. And then we have all the rules questions on BGG that we'll have to deal with. <laughs> yeah, that'll soon follow. <laughs> that happens no matter what, also. you know? Yeah, that's going to happen. Um, yeah, I can't wait to get this on the table, actually see it up close in person, because playing it on Vassal is... Uh, um, not quite the same experience, and that goes for most <laughs> online experiences. <laughs> sure, sure. But for those who aren't familiar with Vassal, this is uh, something not a lot of people use anymore. But um, yeah, but we're going to use it today. It'll be fine. The, the benefits to Vassal, why my publisher, uh, Uli Blinneman, with Spielworks, uh, prefers it as a number of things. Mm -hmm. One, it's 100% free. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yeah. Two, it can run on any computer from the last you know decade or, or two. That's true. Uh, and three, it uh, it has a built-in functionality of a log file that you can set. Um, he where he really likes this, like for playtesting, because we can send it out mm -hmm. blindly to playtesters. They can play the game full on, send us the log file, and then we can step through step by step to see what they did. And um, yeah, so those are three main reasons why he likes it. It doesn't have some of the bells and whistles of like the, uh, the 3D stuff, mm -hmm. but also he's he's also had some really bad experiences with um, Tabletop Simulator where someone was demoing a game for him to possibly sign. And like there was where you go to roll dice and one of the dice just fell through the, the 3D table to the floor. Sure. They went to deal <laughs> cards. It was something with the physics in it. I don't know. They went to deal cards and cards were flying around like flying stars. Just yeah. like, like a ninja throwing stars out. So, <laughs> so, um, Vassal is, is a bit older. Um, uh, but like I said, but for those three reasons, the, the no cost, the fact that you don't have to have the latest, greatest computer to run it. And then that ability to get that log file as a publisher or as a, a designer and walk through the steps of, of each play test, uh, or why he prefers it. So that's why I use it. That makes and sense. last time we were here, uh, you teased, the third in the trilogy, the Acadians. Is there anything more about that you can tell us? Acadians is pretty much done. I, I still want like about another 50 play tests, which will take a few months. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, Uli's been blind play testing it around Germany over the last six months. Um, we, we play tested it a lot 
um, he and I did a lot of um, two-player, three-player, and four-player play tests where we were doing several days a week um, over the last year uh, to the point where I needed to take a break from it because, mm-hmm. um, like, I couldn't I, – I was playing it so much that um, – I couldn't see the forest for the trees as far as like things that, that I might be able to, to, to change or whatever. And so uh, I took a step back and he took it to other people to blind play test, to test the rules out as far as how, how digestible they were. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's been doing all that and sent me some feedback. So um, in the next week or so, I'm going to go through that and um, look at any, anything any notes he got out of those play tests, update the vassal module. Then he and I'll get back into playing it and, that should hopefully be I don't I don't have a timeline. It's really up to what he has already in the pipe, but I think nice. that would be like um twenty twenty two, probably like late twenty twenty two, um, maybe early twenty twenty three, I'm not sure. I was gonna say that's ambitious to be next year. <laughs> well, but the game's Oh right, and it's designed. Design. You yeah. know, it's all all that's really left is art and rule book and Harold and Henning, um are really good at what they do. And I've worked with them on two games already. So we all work really well together. Um, and then um, Harold kind of has a jump start with my games. Uh, he does his own thing, but my prototypes, because I have a background in art, I do a lot of art for my prototypes. What you're seeing here is, is the final art, Harold's art. But if you saw my prototype, it's not too different. Like I said, he put his own spin mm-hmm. on things and, and um, makes it his own. But he kind of, for lack of a better word, has a like a, a a design sketch already there, and then he just paints, you know, paints over it. But um, he doesn't have to. He, I mean, he's, he can as much as he wants, but he doesn't have to spend as much mental energy figuring out well, how should the truck cards look, or you know, because yeah. some some prototypes are literally an index card that says truck, sure, <laughs> yeah. in, in, written in handwritten in pencil. You know, um, yeah. for me, I like I like I was an artist you know, for years professionally. Um, so when I'm not designing, I'll just get in there and draw and do all that. So, um, like I said, for, for late 2022, it, it wouldn't be that ambitious cause we're 18 months away. And I mean, he could knock out the art in just a few months. I honestly, I think. Mm-hmm. Nice. But still a lot awesome. of work. So <laughs> not an easy task for future designers out there. Takes takes a lot of play testing. That's the most important thing. That's the biggest note I heard in that is that uh, how much play testing it takes to get one of these games done. Sure. Yeah, my minimum's a hundred. I don't, I don't, I don't like to have a game go to the printer until I've got a hundred play tests. Um, because just for the sake of math, you know, testing, you know, um, testing different strategies as for it, which goes back to the math and things like that. So mm-hmm. that's just my personal metric is I like a hundred play tests that I've been in plus whatever the publisher or anyone else is doing. Yeah. Nice. Speaking of new designers and everything like that, uh, Sobo has a featured area for new designed games. Um, let's talk about Sobo for a second. All right. Sagan or John, uh, what's the latest on Sobo? Uh, John, you want to take this one? Sure. So what we're going to do with Sobo this year is we are going to have a one-day event on September 11th instead of a two-day event. So anybody who has a who is a ticket holder will be able to go to that, and that will be a, um, a mini uh, game festival. And we'll have play-to-win games and free play, and we'll have our library there. <clears throat> but the the regular festival... We're going to postpone that to March. And the main reason for that is that currently uh, the UL is still ha- requiring a mask mandate for um, all activities um, in, in, on their premises. So we just thought that people didn't want to wear face masks for two days in September. Now, it's possible, very possible, that the mask mandate might, bl- might be gone by September, but it's not gone now. So we wanted to make some decisions that would be good for everybody. So if you have, if you're a current ticket holder, you get to go to the mini con for free. uh, And then your ticket will still be good on March 18th through March 20th in 2022. And that will be at the UL campus. Hmm. That's a big update. 
<laughs> yeah, update. massive, massive update. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're getting yeah. This, so everybody's getting this uh, you know, update ahead of time. We're getting ready to make uh, a public um, announcement uh, in about a week or so. We're we're securing the venue for the one day event, and as soon as that's all secure, uh, we're going to go uh, public with that on Facebook and through all our social media channels. You heard it on iHeart Board Games first. That's right. <laughs> Mini That's event right. September official con 2022 in March. There it is. Yeah. And yeah, you won't find that on the website because it's not public yet. <laughs> well. Yeah, keep keep the secret till it goes public, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, we got that. All right, call well, that we got a scoop. A that's exclusive. Crescent City Cargo We've got here open on Vassal. Yeah, so you guys have played this one before, I believe, right? The uh, you know Jesse, John, and Jason, the Triple J squad, is about to crush me because this is my first time uh, running through this one. Yeah, let's hope so. Uh, thing is, I gotta. Well, we gotta remind people of how to play this and mm -hmm. set, you know all the all the rules precisely. But we'll give you a nice overview of how to play this. So, Jason, are you prepared? Are you ready? Yeah. So we're just doing like a thirty thousand foot, three minute, quick, the gist of how to play. Correct. Uh, yeah. yeah, just uh, okay. So yeah. you have on the main board, you have on the main board, you have um, three distinct areas, and that is the top left is the warehouses, where there is a pawn, uh, which is uh, the warehouse manager with a dolly, and on the top right is the uh, admin area. It's the, the your company's book, so to speak. There's three um, tracks there that everyone can move up on. You spin the appropriate good uh, listed at the top left of each track. So iron for the forklift track, wood for the gantry track, and coffee for the HR track. Um, and then the bottom uh, section of the, the main board is the port where you have the stevedore or um, you know the dock worker that uh, again players will move when they're making delivery so there's seven actions in the game uh, first is to and you can do them in any order you do on your turn you do one action the game's very there's very uh very quick no downtime when it's not your turn mm -hmm. so um one of the one of the actions is to to get goods so you you if you do that outside of any modifiers from office uh cards that you have you would move the warehouse manager one or two spaces clockwise. You can move the meeple more than that. For each space, you move more than that. You pay either one coin, uh, which is your victory points, your money, pay one dollar or one morale. Um, uh, oh, the heart of the game is that your workers work until they need a break. You know, as the morale is, uh, gets gets worn down, then you give them a break. So you'll you'll move it. Um, when you once you move it, you're going to be between two warehouse locations, and you have an option of picking up from one of those locations. You could choose the one in front of or behind the warehouse manager. There's certain rules there. Uh, number one, for each one you pick up, you pay a morale again outside of modifiers from uh, office cards, and um, you can only there, there's three three building uh, excuse me three food type goods. Pink is meat, yellow is grain, black is coffee. Two building materials, let's shoot three foods, two building materials, two building materials are uh, iron, which is gray, and wood, which is brown. Um, on a truck, uh, a regular truck, you have two spaces. You cannot mix, you can mix two different foods on a truck. You can't put a building material with a food. So I can have meat and grain on my truck. I can't have um, iron and grain. Um, then the, uh, the, the next action you could do is deliver goods. There's three types of delivery locations, two trains at the top. They want one of two types of goods. You can, so say the top left train, you could deliver either wood or iron to it. And the right train wants either coffee or iron. Um, with the, when you deliver to a train for each good you deliver, you spend a morale and you put a worker on one of those spaces. 
uh, and then you draw from the bag to the right side of the main board. There's a little black bag. You draw a, uh, a railroad company tile. Those are worth money at the end of the game for having sets of the same type. Um, with trains, it's one of the only ways you ever get workers back. When a train is full, you're going to do an area majority. Whoever has the most workers on the train will get $2. Whoever has the second most will get $1. If you're tied, whoever got to the tied number first, left or right. So if I put down one worker, then John puts down two, then I come back again and put down the last worker, he would win the tie because going left or right, he's got two, whereas my two are in the first and the fourth position. And then the person who has the most gets the train. We put another train card out. Um, next, there's um, shipping containers in the middle. Those want, um, you know, different. they either want building materials, foods, or they, they want two goods. But they either want two building materials, two foods, or one building material, one food. So say the, the one all the way on the left, um, each one of those, you would put one worker down, and you would deliver either two wood, two iron, or wood and iron. You'd pay morale per. you draw two gold cards secretly choose one to keep return the one you don't want to bomb the deck gold cards pay out at the end of the game and those are secret goals um no one else knows um the far right um shipping container those want one food and one building material um so one meat one iron one grain one iron one grain one wood however whatever combination you would deliver um and then the bottom and the outsides are cargo ships. Uh, they want exactly what it says. So see the, the, t the far left cargo ship, uh, two coffee for $3, that pays immediately. Three coffee for $5, four coffee for $7, or two coffee for $3. Um, and again, you pay one morale per good, put your one worker down, collect your money. Um, next is building or upgrading trucks. There's a limited number of trucks. In the game, they're the top center of the main game board. Uh, you spend one iron and one morale. You can build at most one truck at a time, and you put it on your player board. Trucks allow you to have more goods. So, for instance, for those shipping containers that want one food, one building material, you would need more than one truck or an upgraded truck, which I'll explain in a minute. Um, so, again, you would put the truck there. You can build a truck without having a worker, but you can't use it. And it doesn't count for any of the in-game bonuses uh, or during game bonuses uh, unless you until you take one of your idle workers and, and put it on there. Um, also, you can upgrade your trucks. You can upgrade any number of trucks you have, uh, paying one morale and one iron for each truck you want to upgrade. To do that, you flip the truck over, uh, in which case it will have a trailer. And trailers allow on a single truck for you to have building materials and food so long as one type is on the truck and one type is on the trailer. They're not... Uh, mixed in the, the two spaces of the truck itself. Mm -hmm. Next is uh, building uh, office upgrades. We all start with an, uh, uh, an office upgrade we drafted, which these uh, affect the movement of the stevedore and the warehouse manager in different ways, allowing you to either move more for free or move backwards. Um, the four that are out there now, starting with the top left, uh, every time you deliver a building material, you get uh, an extra dollar. Uh, the top right, every time you deliver a food, you get an extra dollar. The bottom left, whenever you um, build an office, build or upgrade trucks, you don't pay morale. And the um, bottom right is whenever you deliver to the port, you pay one fewer morale. Though I should note, you always pay at least one morale. So you can't deliver one thing for free. You would have to deliver two and then get a discount and only pay one morale. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas trucks always cost one iron per, the offices are based on the power, how strong the office is. So you see three of them only cost one wood. The one that gives the morale discount costs two wood. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's a display of four that's always there. Once someone builds one, we'll pull another one down. Um, so deliver goods, get goods, deliver goods, trucks, offices. Um, advancing on admin tracks, the top right. So you don't pay any morale when you advance on admin tracks. You just pay the good that it's wanted. And if you want to, you can advance either one or two spaces at a time on, on a given track. Um, to advance one space, you pay one. So if I want to advance one on the forklift track, I would pay one iron and move my disc forward one. If I want to move two spaces at a time, I have to pay three iron. So if I want to move two spaces 
only spending one iron for each space, I'd have to do that on consecutive turns. Mm. Um, above the second and the fifth space of each track, there's a little arrow with spaces for workers. As we improve those areas of our company, we have to put more staff there. Uh, and again, any staff that we put, whether it's on a truck or a building um, or the admin tracks, they come from our idle workers, the three at the top of our, our player board, which I'll, I'll get a little more detail of that uh, in a minute. Um, the, from the fourth onto the six spaces of the admin tracks are all blocked currently by achievement tiles as any player achieves what it wants. So if we look at the forklift track, the first player to have three offices, um, that's including the office you start with. And again, as I mentioned earlier, you have to have a worker on that office for it to count. So if you've built three offices but don't have workers on one or more of them, you don't, you don't achieve that. But when you do, you claim that tile because there there's just a gold card that could give you points for it, um, and you would immediately get two morale. Um, so on the fourth and fifth space of each track is a level two, which gives you two morale. On the fifth and sixth space of each track is a level uh Excuse me, level one gives you two morale, level two gives you three morale. So on staying with that same track, the uh, forklift track, the first worker to have three workers on shipping containers, doesn't matter if they're all in one container or spread out, will claim that tile and get three morale. And when you do that, it opens up the track for everyone to, to advance up. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, that's so and with the admin tracks, the first one, uh, you're limited, you can only pick up one type of good. When you pick up, so if I move the, the warehouse manager one space to the right, looking at the, the warehouse to the bottom right of where he would be, then there's uh, two coffee there, two black. If I have enough space on my truck and enough morale, I can pick those two up. But that's the only time I can pick up two unless I've advanced to the third space on the forklift track that has a two below it. Below each track is, is the ability. Um, then I can pick up two types. So I could pick up a coffee and a meat or coffee and a grain or whatever. I can pick up more than one type. Um, the fourth space has dual arrows. When you get there, you can pick up from both the warehouse location in front of and behind the warehouse manager. Mm -hmm. um, and then the gantry track is the number of cubes you can deliver. If you look below where our discs start, we can all deliver a maximum of two, two cubes at a time, no matter what they are. As we advance further on, then we can deliver three, four, or five. And the dual arrows there would allow me. So if I moved to a particular space, I could deliver to a train and a shipping container. If I had enough morale, enough goods, normally I could only deliver to one of those. The dual arrows mm -hmm. mean I can deliver to two. Um, and then the HR track, um, which is one of my favorite things of the whole game, um, one of the last actions I didn't, didn't mention is resting. You work until you, you either have... Uh, zero or one morale left and when you get there you want to actually you can take us to rest it's essentially passing and you advance your your morale disc um on your player board up to whatever it would be you don't gain that much you advance to it so we all start at three you would go to three you can improve that and advance up to four or five or six morale and the way you improve your morale is with coffee because that's just how life operates and that's mm -hmm. one of my favorite parts of the game is how coffee mm -hmm. coffee makes it better um, the last thing is the fifth space of each admin track. The first player to reach it gets to draw two, keep one gold card. Um, and again, it's only for the first player to reach it. It's the only way to get gold cards besides delivering to the shipping containers. Um, so going to the, if you can display a player board, Jesse, I'm, I'm not, sure. I don't see your screen. So um, on the player board, you have uh, three spaces at the top for idle workers. These are workers that have been hired and ready to go to work. Um, you start with three at the beginning of the game. One goes to your starting office. You have two available. You hire at the bottom of your player board from left to right. You pay either meat or money. Um, and you can hire as much as you can afford to pay and as many empty idle spaces you have uh, at the top of your player board. Um, so right now we could all only hire one if we wanted. Um, should note, just like with advancing on the warehouse or port um, with the stevedore and the warehouse manager, uh, when you hire, you can use either meat or money, but you can't split it. So if I'm if I have one meat and I want to hire two people, if I have one meat and one dollar, I have to do that in two separate actions. One turn I'm spending the dollar to hire, the next time I'm spending the meat. Um, I'd have, so I I, I can't uh, split it. Um, one of the in-game triggers 
is when someone has hired one or both of the workers in their far right section that costs two meat or three dollars. Uh, the other one is when the train card uh, deck, draw deck runs out. Um, I'll get to how the end game works in a minute. But uh, so that's hiring. You hire, you, you pull them up top. Um, in the center of your player board, there's an on-call space. You cannot hire directly that. That's only because, like I mentioned before, when a train card is full, those workers come back to you. They fill, they first fill the top, any empty idle worker spaces that you have. Um, any more that come back to that, one more can go to that on-call space, which can later be used for free. But you can never choose to place a worker there outside of them coming back from a train and you don't have space at the top. Uh, any workers more than that, you'd have to put at the bottom and pay to rehire them. So that's something to pay attention to if you have workers out on trains and it looks like one might fill. It's a, that's a tactical aspect of the game. Um, and the last, thing I, uh, the last thing is to rest, which I explained. When you get to zero or one morale, you can choose to rest to regain your morale. And, um, you know, since, like I said, it's passing. It's, it's, it's getting ready to, to start your next group of actions that you choose. Um, and then lastly... Um, uh, While well, I mentioned loans, you can never choose to take a loan. Um, you can, uh, for any reason other than there's no meat available in any warehouses, there's no other action you could take. You need to hire a worker to do anything else, and you have, there's no meat, and you don't have any money. In which case, you would take $3 uh, as a free action. You would take a loan card. You don't pay loan cards back during the game. At the end of the game, they cost you $5. Um, and then from that $3, you spend as much as you want to hire as many workers as you can hire with that $3. Um, so when the, when the end game is triggered, uh, let's say that if uh, Jesse is uh, your last player and Sagan is first player. So if Sagan does, you know, his actions would, would trigger the end game on the center left of the main board. There's the in-game action track. Right now, the black disc is just on the, the blank space. It would move to the, the flag that's on the back of the goal cards. So once it moves there, that means the in-game has been triggered, and we finish out that, that round of turns. So if Sagan did it, then John would get a turn, I would get a turn, Jesse would get a turn, and then we would get into our last three in-game steps. If Jesse does it, since he's the last player, that round has ended since he did it, uh, but once once that's happened, um, then we move it to the three and starting with Sagan, we each get a turn in order then to the two and then to the one. And then after that, we do in-game scoring. So everyone will get an equal number of turns in the game, no matter how the game end is triggered. Everyone will, will get an equal number of turns. Um, once that happens, we'll score any workers left on trains, whether they're full or not. Um, and again, if you if 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 you have the most on a train, you get two dollars whoever's the second most gets $1. If you're the only one on train when it scores, you get all $3 as a bonus. Mm. Once that happens, we collect money for our sets of um, railroad company tiles, which is 1, 3, 5, 8, 10 for sets of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Any over 5 of the same type of railroad is an extra 2 bucks. Um, and then after that, you reveal your goal cards and score based on how well you did it and realizing that I picked a goal card that is awful for what's on the board. I'm already, if, if I get a respectable third place in this game, I'll be happy because I did not look at my goal card. I did not look at the main board when I chose my goal card. That That's the very quick rushed uh, version of how to play. But there is, I think it was a, thorough. <laughs> I, there is a full playthrough video that we did months ago back in, I think what, uh, October, November. Mm -hmm. um, that's on the games BGG page. And on the I Heart Board Games YouTube uh, channel, and there's also on the Games BGG page, there's a video of myself doing a rules teach with Uli Blenheim and the publisher. Mm -hmm. So, and one one last thing, so it doesn't confuse anybody. We're playing the intro version of the game. Mm -hmm. The game comes with two modules that you can build, you know, uh, an advanced version of. Um, which are workflow modifier cards, which affect actions during the game, and then economic forecast cards, which affect scoring you losing or gaining money at the end of the game. Those are on the bottom right um, side of the player board next to the loan cards and, and the, the railroad company tile bag. We're not going to be using those in this game. So if anybody, if anybody wonders what those are, that's for the advanced version, um, which like it's all explained in the rules, but we won't, uh, yeah. we won't get into that today. Cover those. <laughs>
Awesome. I think that was very thorough. Now we're gaming. <laughs> now we're gaming. Yep. And we're starting. I believe so, it's me. Right? Is yes. Yeah. All right. So uh, <clears throat> since seven actions, know, that's all you got. <laughs> right, right, right. I, only you know, I've only got a few to pick from, and since I clearly have, uh, you know, I'm the one who hasn't played. I think I'm just gonna start off by uh, hiring a worker. I've got a a meat that I started with as the pregame setup here, so I'm gonna go ahead, spin that, pop a worker from my uh, uh, yet to be used into my idle spot right here, and I'm gonna call it good. I'm gonna kind of wait and see. Okay, so in in doing that, your meat that you spent would go to the loading dock uh, because all the warehouses are full. Okay. So on the loading dock right now, there's one iron in the, or excuse me, one coffee in the far right space. It'll go right to the uh, left of it there. Right there. And what will okay. happen as, as things empty out in the warehouses, um, the player who empties that warehouse with anything on the, on the uh, loading dock would, would come down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do all that just to make it run a little smoother right now, uh, since I'm the most familiar with how it works. I'll handle, um, you know, putting things back in the warehouses when, when we're done. Okay, great. But all yeah, right. I'm just going to leave it there, and I don't have to spend a morale to hire, right? Correct. All okay. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move the warehouse worker one spot, and I'm going to grab some wood and put it on my truck. You and can't do that because you have coffee on your truck. Oh, I can't do that. I forgot about No, oh, that's coffee. Yes. Uh, also, I think you pulled from the one behind you. You did. He well, yeah. that's legal. That's legal. Oh, you that can is. pull from either yes, you can pull from either one when you get to that that third space or excuse me, fourth space on the uh forklift track, then you can pull from both simultaneously. But otherwise, oh, you, know, okay. you, right. you can pull from one them. or the other. I see. Gotcha. All right. Well, I did this so people that are watching the video could learn. And so, you know, that's, <laughs> that is your primary calculator. teaching strategy. Yeah, and I like, like it. it. I'm so, here for it. That's intentional. So um, we're going to go ahead and uh, move the stevedore one spot. And... We're going to go ahead and deliver one coffee to the train. And so then I get a dollar? Uh, no. So nope. what you okay. do is you'll your coffee doesn't go on the train. One of your oh, idle workers goes I, I on the train. I knew that. Mm -hmm. I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> you, 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 one of your idle workers will go to the train. Yep. And right. you'll get to draw, as you spend one morale on your player board. And then you'll get from the black bag to the bottom right of the main board, you'll get to draw one of those railroad company tiles. So, I mean, it is a dollar, but at the end of the game, it could be worth more, depending on how many you get. All right. I don't get a dollar Those yet. aren't, no, and those aren't face down. Those are, okay. those are face up, yeah. Right. Except for the goal cards, everything in the game is open information. So I'm going to go build a, or no, actually, I'm going to upgrade a truck, I think. So I'm going to spend my one iron and one morale, and I'm going to flip my truck over and reassign my driver there, and my turn is done. Awesome. All right. Make sure all my stuff is in the right spot. Good. Let's... Move to Let's go up on the delivery track here. Center. Um, yeah, the gantry track. Yeah, the gantry. That's the word. <laughs> you spin the wood, you don't spin morale. Spin the wood, going back up to that. Don't spin morale because it's on this book track, and I'll just pull my little thing out, throw it in there. And yeah, we could just let the other ones float. That's fine. And then you, um, you need to put a worker right above in yeah, any I one know. of those four spaces right above. All right, and back to Sagan. All right. So, um, am I allowed not to move the warehouse manager, or do must no, I move? Always, you always have to move. Yes, you always one have to or move two, the and then I can pay morale to move them more. All right. 
Um, for now, I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and move him one and I'll grab this wood. Uh, assuming that I can pick it up and get it over to my truck. And I can. And I'll leave it at that. And that cost me good. one morale because Correct. I picked up one good. Yes. And then I'll go ahead and move this down. And that'll be John then. Okay. I'll move my warehouse worker one. And can I pick up from two different locations, two different squares? Uh, from one where from one warehouse. So yeah. so so okay. above above you right now, you could pick up those two black coffee. Mm-hmm. Um, or one of the other items, or or one coffee, and okay. to the left of you, you could pick up two of those grain, or one meat, or one iron. But you can't split. You can't get the two meat. In other words, that's one at one and one at the other. You can't do that until you advance to the fourth space on the uh, forklift track. Okay. All right. So you can't pick up two because you have enough around enough space, but only if they come from one warehouse location. Right. Okay. Thank you. All right, I'll pick up uh I'll pick up two coffee. And if I, if I if I didn't say this before, a warehouse location is a group of those little brown squares, you know, that that's mm -hmm. a location. All right. Okay, so you would pay two morale for that, John, and then you're done. And I'll go ahead and start moving this stuff down while I was going to say, well, I'm taking my turn, but okay. So <laughs> I am going to, let's see, I'm going to change up what I'm going to do because John took the coffee I wanted. So I'm going to go grab one wood and pay one morale for that. All right. My turn start. I'm going to move the warehouse manager and pick up two wood. And pay two morale for that. Then it's done. All right. So if I'm building an office, I'm paying a morale and the required wood cost, and I'm just building out of the common offer here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I will grab, um, I'll pay my wood from my truck. goes back up to the top. And then I uh, pay one morale. And I will grab this office here that lets me do things with, uh, with no coffee, um, coffee free, uh, at least for uh, sp some specific action. So that one mm -hmm. uh, is I do not have to pay morale anymore when I am building a truck, building an office, or upgrading my trucks. Correct. You do need a worker on the office for it to be active, though. Uh, you don't that, have that's, to do it right now. You could, you could that's if, a, if for that's some reason you wanted thing. to wait. Yeah, no, yes. that's uh, yes. thank you for reminding me because I was I did that in my head, but I didn't do it on my board. <laughs> and I've replaced the um, the office card mm -hmm. that was that you you built. I replaced it with another one, which is mm -hmm. that when um, picking up from the warehouse, you pay one fewer morale. But again, you always have to pay at least one morale. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go and my guys are going to rest and I'll refresh to three morale. All right, I'm going to build an office, and I was really sweating and saying did that because I thought he was going to build the one I wanted. So I'm paying one morale and one wood, and I'm building that office, which pays me an extra buck whenever I deliver food. And then I'll put another card out, which that card is anytime you advance on the top two admin tracks, the um, gantry track, or excuse me, the forklift track or the gantry track, doesn't matter how many spaces you move, but you, you immediately get two morale oh, when you, when you take an action to advance on that track. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to also follow everyone else and build an office. Uh-oh. I'm going to build the one on the bottom left for two wood. I two wood up there. Paying one morale for that. And I'm going to throw it on my board. It's going to have to be a, a rest for me, so I'm gaining three, uh, so I'm back up to four total morale. No, you, and, you uh, don't gain three, you reset two, three. Oh, you reset two, three. Okay, yes. I see. That's um, why if you have one, it maybe it's 
benefits you to go grab something or deliver something, or maybe you do rest. It just it depends on, you All know, right. like That's, I said, what your particular strategy is. And tactically I see, I see. Well, in that case, I suppose I'll uh, run up the uh, to grab another wood here. Since I can't quite afford two things, I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and grab another wood from this warehouse spot and call it there. So here's a question for you. If, uh, if it's not adding, and this is why I guess I thought it was gaining. I noticed that on the human resources admin track here, six is the top rank, but we have eight morale mm -hmm. slots. So are there other cards yes. that modify that? Got In it. the advanced game, there are some things with, with uh, workflow modifier cards. And also, uh, remember when you get achievement tiles, you will get two or three morale ah, of course, when of you course. do that. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I um <laughs> it's by design saw... that it's by design that the most you can get to by resting is six, but you can get up to eight. Right, there's there's right. reasons for that, but I don't want to get into a, a big part of my games is to be played and explored and to, to right, find right. little things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I I I thought just since I was the very first player and I wasn't a hundred percent sure what direction I wanted to take, one of my first thoughts was like maybe I'll just rest off the first turn and bank up my points, bank up my energy a little <laughs> bit, and then kind of you know. But now I see that that wouldn't work. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, that's uh, I'm taking the wood. I'm done there. So um, I believe it's John. All right, um, Jason. Yes. So if, if I move the stevedore one extra space, does that cost me money or morale? You choose, but you currently have no money, so it would have to cost you morale. All right, so uh, we'll do morale. So I get two for free, right? Yes. And then this one's going to cost me one morale. And then if I deliver my two coffee here, oh, I, can, I don't have people. So I no, you, only need one, you only need one person oh, first. Oh, that's right. Okay. All right, so then we'll do that. So that's going to take all my morale. And then that takes my person, and then I get three bucks. Yes. Um, they go, if you look right below it, there's a little white rectangle. I'll move it down for you, but that's where the workers, the, the, that little oh, faded yeah. white rectangle on all it. the cards and places where they go. Um, go. So the coffee will go back to the loading dock. And then um, in the Vassal module, which uh, obviously on the game, playing physically, you're going to have a reserve, you know, in a cup or in a pile or whatever of the money. In the Vassal module, there's a hand on the bottom left of the player board that you mm. right-click to get one, five, or ten dollars. I and see. You can also you can also right-click on coins. Like, if you're making change, you can right-click on coins to delete them. And things I like see. that. Okay, so it's my turn, and I'm going to rest and go back to three morale, and it's Jesse's turn. Resting as well? Same. Same. Early on, you'll see that until if this happens, this is my games are designed like this um, on purpose so that especially for new players, um, which essentially we have two because I think Jesse's only played it once and this is Sagan's first time playing it. Um, the first handful of turns, players may do some similar things because they're feeling it out. But as we start to build our own individual unique engines, then you'll see things, you know, one player may not rest for six or seven turns sure. because of, of what, they're, you know, what they're getting as far as discounts on morale and such. Um, one thing I noticed, Jesse, um, just so you know, you're, you may know this, um, but your second office you built is not active because you don't have a worker. Oh, You'd have to move that worker if you want to. That's be just a, yeah, I meant to do that. I mean, there may yeah, be times it, where you're saving that worker to do something. You're just sure. sacrificing that ability currently, but that's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, and that's something you can do at any time. Is to yes, throw a and it's a free in. action just to move. You know, if you have a worker, it's a free action to move them over. Right. Okay. Okay. That's so my turn there. Oversight on my part. Uh, no, it's Jesse's turn. Uh, I I did a rest, so yeah. And I oh, rest, okay. I rested. I rested as well. So yes, it's it's John. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Two I'm turns gonna, in a row for you. And I'm gonna rest. <laughs> So okay, so back, okay. back to Jason. So I am going to move two spaces, and I am going to grab both of these meat for two of my morale. And my turn is done. I'll go ahead and restock that warehouse from the loading dock. Okay. 
I'm doing exactly what you did, except for the spot over here, and this only cost <laughs> me one morale because of my because of your office. office. Yes. I'm doing not exactly what you did. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and pay my wood back out and build another office. Only this time, it doesn't cost me any um, any morale. morale. So I'm going to go cool. ahead and grab this one, number thirteen here, which is the one that uh, every time we advance on the admin track, it gives us uh, two morale. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that is it cost me the one wood, and I'll throw my worker on it, not forgetting to do so. And uh, well, well one okay. More thing. So since you've done that, yep. you've you've got the first achievement tile. And again, right. the achievement tiles don't have to be done in order. Uh, you just happen to do the the top left one. So, so you claim it on your board. board. Yes, right. and, and you immediately I... get two morale. So you go up to five. Uh -huh. And now my Another morale economy. My action economy is looking pretty solid right now. I'm getting mm -hmm. free morale all over the place. Very right. happy Maybe. workers. <laughs> wow, you're you're a good uh, yeah good good employer. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to move my warehouse worker, and um, we're going to get some wood, and that will reduce my morale by two. And that's it. And there's okay. no uh, nothing to replace. All right, I am going to move the warehouse manager twice. Grab one meat to put in my trailer for my last morale. Okay, I'm going to spend my meat and uh, hire some workers. One, two. That's me. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and move forward with our warehouse manager once. And uh, for two morale, I'll take two wood and load it on a truck. If I can uh, put the things on my truck. And uh, we'll go to John. I like how fast this is, uh, this is moving around. I like the you only get to do one one thing on your turn one little thing yeah one of the mm -hmm. one of the big tenets of my designs all my games is on your turn or when it's not your turn there's very little there's little to no downtime it's very quick and mm -hmm. also my games there's a lot of tactical play because every time any one of us picks up goods it changes the options for everyone else on their next turn and same thing right. with delivering goods and all that and and so um every action you take potentially affects everyone it changes the game state so it potentially affects everyone else you can't directly hurt somebody i can't go steal one of john's workers or take your wood but i can deliver to a space you wanted and then you have to adjust and you're never left with no action but you may have to you know shift to plan b for a turn or two sure sure mm -hmm. all right well i'm going to uh, i'm going to buy a building now even though i can't uh occupy it with a worker because i'm afraid that the building I want might be gone. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, I'm going to take the one with uh, coffee. And uh, so Wait, which time one? I get a worker a building ah. seven. Yeah. All right. And so now again, as John explained, he doesn't have a worker to put on it yet. Um, but once he does get a worker on it, anytime he hires, it doesn't matter how many workers he hires in that action, he gets three morale. Yeah. Yeah, two wood for that. Um, oh yeah, two wood. Sorry. Okay. Two wood, one morale. And I'm I'm taking care of all sure. this to make it go smoothly. But what mm -hmm. would normally happen, um, and so far it hasn't been an issue because um but you would if if there's an empty space in a warehouse location, you would put the good there. Um it's 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 used up. Thematically, it's used up, and that's just the warehouse manager requisitioning more stuff to keep his warehouses full. Sure. Um, but for the sake of this flowing, I'm just having everyone put it on the loading dock, and then I'm putting it down there. If there would be an option, because part of the tactical play is if there's two, if you're delivering, say, two meat, and there's two warehouse locations that both have an empty space, uh, both have more than one empty space, you could choose to split it or to put two in one space. Oh, I see. Based on what you want to do. And if that comes up, I'll ask the active player what they want to do. I see, I see. 
Yeah, see, good catch. I um, yeah, I I tried to only pay one wood for that, so you got to watch me. <laughs> so, so thank you, Jesse. Now, my that. my cheating is all unintentional. So. <laughs> All right, so uh, on my turn, I'm going to spend one meat. All the warehouses are full, so it goes to the loading dock and hire a single worker. And my turn is done. Single worker. Hmm. All right, we need to hit the warehouse. Let's go for... This guy would be further along by my turn. Uh, that'll work. I'm going to move him twice. We're going to pick up some coffee. Okay. So, Jason, supposing I were to build another office right now, would mm -hmm. I pick up that tier two tile or is it covered? No, you would pick it up. Like that, um, what I was saying earlier is you don't have to build them in order or you don't have mm. to achieve them in order because I there's see. there's more achievement tiles than what you see out there. Like, for instance, you see a level one achievement tile for trucks on the HR track. And you see a level two achievement tile for, for cargo ships on oh, the right, entry track right, right. in the middle. So you could achieve that level three tile, you know, without, without anyone ever getting the level one, or excuse me, level two tile, without anyone getting level one tile for boats because it's not there. So, yeah. So they're not, they, they only block the spaces you can advance to. They don't block you from getting to the achievement tile to the right of it. I see. I see. All right. Then I think. What I'm going to do is I will go ahead and spend my two wood uh, and no morale because uh, I am who I am and uh, build this uh, number six office down here, um, which is going to let me deliver with a discount of one morale per delivery, correct? Yes. All right. And I'll go ahead and uh, fill that one out. So that's my fourth office and I'll pick this up. Uh, this uh, this achievement tile here, and I'll gain uh, three more morale. Oh, you got quite an engine going there, Sagan. You don't have to spend morale on anything. Uh, so, well, mm -hmm. that's that was the, my thought. Is it going to work? I don't know. I don't have a very good economy built, but I've got an action economy, so hopefully it'll carry mm -hmm. me through here. Um, Jason, I'll tell you my weakness in, in all games like this. Whenever there are bonus buildings or some kind of upgrade tile or something like that, I always over-upgrade myself, and it is my downfall every time. So, <laughs> All right. In well, I'm going right. to go ahead and delete a dollar and uh, hire a worker that won't remain idle long. He's going to go right to work, and uh, he's going to occupy my building. That's the end of my turn. All right, I'm going to rest. My turn's done. All right. Um, got the two coffee. We're going to go up on the advance on the admin track twice. Uh, well, you advance oh. once. Once. You could advance Fish. one by spending one coffee, or you could advance two by spending three coffee. So oh. you will be able to advance two, but it's going to take you two actions take to more do. coffee right okay yeah. but it doesn't cost you any morale so sure all right i think i will uh, move forward two with the goods and i'll spend two morale to pick up iron this time we're going iron and that costs me two morale to pick them both up i've loaded them i'm done all right i'm gonna go ahead and uh, spend a dollar gonna activate an idle worker and that'll give me three morale. Yes, sir. All right, I'm gonna move the stevedore, the dock worker, two spaces, and I'm gonna deliver two meat to the only space, the only shipping container that has, uh, that wants two foods. So I'll spin my two morale. And the meat will go up here. Actually, I need to move these down real quick. And then I will draw. Well, first I'll collect a dollar because so my gold card gives me a dollar for each delivery. The delivery is per worker. So since I put one worker down, even though it was two meat, I, I only get one dollar. 
Um, if I were delivering to a train, delivering more than one food, then I would get, I would get more money than that. Uh, and then I immediately draw two goal cards. And uh, I'll, be, I'll, that, I'll do that in secret. I'll draw two goal cards. I'll choose one to keep and um, discard the other, or not discard, but return the other one to the bottom of the deck. And I'm going to do that. All right. And my turn is done. Uh, I'm going to go up on that uh, track again for one coffee. Okay. That's me. All right. I think uh, I'm going to upgrade my truck, actually. So I've got the uh, the thing that lets me get a discount on, a uh, morale discount, rather, um, on building a truck, building offices, upgrading truck. It is upgrading trucks, too. Okay, great. I just wanted to make sure. So I'm spending one iron to upgrade my, my truck. Is that correct? Correct. And, and to do uh, that... I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, it's it's free to move goods around on the truck, so I can take my one yes. iron now and put it on the trailer, and then I can free the those other two slots for something else. Correct? Yeah. So that way, if you wanted to, for instance, pick up some meat or any or grain or any right, type of right. food, you could do that. Yes. Oh, wonderful. That's me. Um, I'm going to advance the warehouse worker, and we'll go ahead and get two iron and. That will cost me two morale. All right, I'm going to drop these down. Um, I am going to advance the warehouse manager there once, grab a single meat, and spin my morale. My turn's done. I'm going to move the warehouse manager twice, pick up. Two meat for my discounted rate of one morale. One and two for one. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, and I guess in that case, I'm going. So I've got the office that allows me to move back at the warehouses. So I'm going to reverse course here. I think that's I'm playing that correctly, and I'll pick this meat up. Yeah. Um, or I guess I could have paid a morale to get two. Hmm. Hmm. Would it be better to pay one morale and pick up two meat? That would bring me down to one. I for think. Everything don't I you, pick up. Uh, Jason? Don't you always have to spend at least one morale? Yeah. Even with the yeah. So you have to spend. So you're going to have to spend a morale. No, 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 that's not what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. I, I, He's I'm talking saying... about spending an extra morale to move three spaces oh, instead okay. of three. right. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to be spending a morale for this, or I'm going to be spending three morale for two that are over here. But I really think I want two, so I'm going to go ahead and spend three morale and pick up this two meat, put it on my truck that I just upgraded. Uh, oops, almost dropped it. And one, two, three. So I'm down to one. That's my turn. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to spend a dollar and get another worker, another idle worker, and that will increase my morale by three. Okay. All right. Um, do I want to rest or do I want to hire? I'm trying to figure out because I don't want any of you to mess up what I want to do. So I'm going to rest now, wait to hire. My turn's done. Hmm, I'm kind of in the same boat as you. I think I will rest now as well. Go up to four. I will hire. So I can spend both of these two meat in order to um, to get two idle workers. And they'll right. just go straight back into this open warehouse. Is that it? The meat, yes. Okay, great. Well, you have an option because there's a warehouse location... Uh, oh, I didn't, see, I didn't see this one down here. If you choose uh, to split them up, that's, there's reasons. I, there's times where you'll do that because it either makes something easier for you on your next right. turn or harder for everyone else on their next turn. I do uh, think I want to split them up right now. All right. 
Yeah, I just thought that those were the only two open spaces. I didn't see that last one down there, but um, but I'm glad that I asked. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, buy a truck. So that's going to cost me one iron mm -hmm. and one one morale. Yes, sir. And then I get one truck. And we'll put a worker on it. All right. I'm going to move the warehouse manager one and spend two morale to get two coffee. And then my turn is done. All right, move in warehouse manager twice. And, oh, that's right. I still have a full thing of meat. <laughs> Need to dump that first. Um, <laughs> that's how it works with that. I'm gonna just, oh, that, uh, that is one other thing. <clears throat> Anything you have on your trucks, you have to, quote, unquote, spend. You have to use in the game. You can't ever just discard something from your truck. Um, throw it off the, the side of the road. Right, because that would make... That would that would very much break things in that I know that Sagan wants to hire, so I'll grab all the meat until he mm -hmm. has to get a loan, and then I just dump it out because I don't have a use for it. So right, you, you have to use it somewhere. All right, it's been used to hire two more people. I'm done. All right, um, I think for me it would be best to go ahead. And spend my uh, remaining iron here on a uh, up, up admin track upgrade. I'm going to go on the uh, the top track, and that is going to require a worker from me. So I'll put him down there. I guess I'll put him on the top. And uh, because of my offices, it's going to get me to morale, actually. Nice. And that's that. Okay. All right. Um, pause in the action. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Um, Oh, should we uh, drop these two uh, meat back down? Yeah, to I'll take care warehouse? of that. I was, I'll take care oh. of it. I was, double, I was double checking something, but oh, okay. Yeah, no I'll, problem. I'll, I'll go ahead and do it just to just so there's no so things don't get mixed up. I was yeah. just, ah, I was double checking make, something, but that go ahead. That, make, that makes my action easier. So I'm gonna advance one spot and pick up two meat and put them on my brand new truck. That's what I was waiting for, Jason. <laughs> and so that takes two more. My bad. And there we go. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to spend one meat to hire a worker. And my turn is done. I know some of us wait for the two meats, and you're, you've been going for the one meat. Um, how do you feel that is for efficiency? Do you think the uh, going for I'm more work. I'm getting as much as I, it depends on what, what's going on in the game. I have, there's a very specific thing I'm trying to do and it's going to take me two turns to do it, two more mm -hmm. turns. Um, and it was better for me to go get the stuff I'm going to need in this case, the coffee to do what I want to do, um, mm -hmm. than to worry about trying to hire too much. Mm -hmm. You, you can play the long game. You, I'm, I'm playing the short game. I'm kind of nickel and diming my actions. Gotcha. Um, so. It's good to see both. Good to see both. Um, all right, I'm going to move the warehouse worker once and pick up these two irons for sure. one morale. That's it. I think I will move the warehouse worker twice. And so <clears throat> because I... Um, or no, I guess I'm not to the, the rank where I can pick up two different goods yet. I'd have to advance one more time on this top track before I get my my ac my bigger access. So I'll go ahead and grab the these two coffee from here. And that costs me two um, morale to pick those up. And that's it. Yep. All right. So, and and once I were to advance this top blue disc one more space, then I would also be able to grab a wood from the same warehouse and throw it into my trailer. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Perfect. 
Perfect. All right. So I'm uh, just going to do this because I can, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and uh, build another truck. So it costs another iron. Cost okay. me a morale. And put my idle worker in there. And then that gives me the achievement tile for three trucks. Yes, so you get two morale, you get that tile. And then I'm gonna go ahead and ask for, I'll move it, John, you have two warehouse locations where we could put this iron. Uh, I can either put it at the top left or the bottom left, where do you want it? Um, I wanna put uh, one at the bottom left and one at the top left. Well, you only have one, you only have oh, one. Oh, just one, bottom, bottom left. left. Yeah. Bottom okay, left. all right, there we go. All right, so for my turn, I am going to rest. And Jesse, your turn. Uh, I'm also going to buy a truck for one iron. Throw it in there, one morale. Okay. I think, I'm uh, think I'm going to have to uh, spend one of my coffee to advance on the HR track. So I got one idle worker that can go out right here and one coffee that has a couple of spots it can go, I think I'll send it down here. I'll group it up with the other one. Uh, oh, wait, I'm sorry. I skipped uh, this iron that Jesse put in. Um, so, so the iron, uh, Jesse, where do you want to put that iron? Yeah, there's open spots in the warehouses oh, for it. Let's, uh, let's just put it down here. Okay. Um, yeah, but I spent my coffee, I advanced one space, and uh, it's going to gain me two morale because of my office. And he put that down there, so therefore I have no choice. I have to put this coffee right there. Okay. Um, it won't gain you two morale, because if you notice the icons on your office card, that's gaining morale for the top two tracks, the forklift track and the gantry track. Oh, I did not yeah. realize that. Yeah. Okay, your that's move fine. wasn't bad because you move one I more space in your next turn, you'll be able to rest to four. I, I still want to do it. Bad, but, yeah. I still want to do it, but um, you know. So yeah, it's it's John. It's John. I, I'm I'm right. I'm I'm good with that, even without the little little bonus. All right, I'm going to get another idle worker, and gain three morale. All right, I'm gonna move the dock worker one space and I'm gonna deliver two coffee for two morale. I'll put my two workers on this train and bring my coffee back up. Everything's full again, so this will go to the loading dock and then I'll draw two railroad company tiles and hopefully I get some matches. Kansas, Kansas and Union Pacific. So I did not. So hmm. currently they're both worth one dollar. I want to get more so they, I can increase their value. Yeah. And what's the increase? That's uh, one, three, five, eight, ten, and then two dollars for anything more than five of a set. Nice. So if I get another, if I get another UP, another Union Pacific, then the, that pair will be worth three dollars instead of one dollar for the single. Cool. All right, I want to move. Hmm. Yeah, building materials can share space. So I'm going to move one here. I want to pick up three wood for two morale. Is that okay to split amongst trucks? Yes. Yeah. Okay. As long as you're not mixing food and building materials in the yeah. two spaces of a truck, you can put them however you want. And I'll go ahead and move this coffee down while you're doing that. And I'll bring me down to zero morale. Oh, uh, one other thing. I'm sorry. Um, because I delivered two call, two workers, I get two dollars. If I'm going to lose, I want to lose legitimately, <laughs> not because I forgot to. <laughs> and, I, and and I wouldn't come back three turns from now. It's only because I just finished my turn and I was. Uh, mm -hmm. I get my yeah. two dollars for that. So. All right. I will uh, go ahead and uh, move up another spot here, and uh, that'll cost me my remaining coffee which is going to go into the coffee zone, coffee warehouse. Um, so yeah, that's just zone. advancing on that track. That's it. Okay. We'll advance the uh, warehouse worker. 
one and we will pick up one uh, meat and one wood and we'll put them in different trucks. You and can't do that. Oh, I can't. Yeah. I can't. Oh, that's right. I have to. Not advance. advanced. You can only pick advanced. up one type. Yes, that's you can only right. pick up one type. That's right. All right. So I have to advance on the uh, top track. The forklift track. The top. Yeah. One. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, all right. We'll pick up two metal and and that takes two morale. Yes, sir. And there we go. So much cheating, John. So I know. Right. <laughs> I'm going to advance the warehouse manager once and grab one meat for my last morale. I'm resting. I will advance the warehouse manager once and grab one meat for my last morale. Mm. John? All right, I'm going to advance the warehouse manager and get one more iron. And I'll put it actually on my truck. And that takes uh, some morale to do that. Okay. I'm just going to rest. I think I'm going to go ahead. Oh, it's not my turn. Sorry. But it's me. <laughs> it's I forgot. Yes. Um, at the docks, I'm going to move. What's this guy's name again? Bill. The, What's his position? The stevedore, yeah, Bill. The stevedore, Steve the, the stevedore. dock worker. The... <laughs> All right. We've used several Steve. names for him. I got to go back and look and see what they chose to use in the final rule book. I'm going to move him once and fulfill that three wood for the ship. You can't do that. Oh, I can't do that? Is there a reason? <laughs> because you, you could, if you look at the gantry track, you can only deliver two. Oh, I need to go one more on that. You need to go up one more, yes. Which hey, would Jay, not Bell cost your work into our comments. Work. What's up, Jay? He said he's loving the playthrough and how the theme is integrated really well into the gameplay. Um, which I love hearing from Jay because we played a really themey game with him. Uh, I can't remember. I guess it was uh, last month or the month <laughs> before. That was Frogs in Rain, another uh, Louisiana themed game. So. Uh, we love to see that. I'm uh, not just, familiar with that game, but I need to play it now because that just sounds awesome. Frogs in rain. Well, well it's <laughs> it's not R A I N. It's R A Y N E. It's in rain, Louisiana. Uh, so it's <laughs> frogs it in so much rain. Yeah. Yeah, that makes it so much better. <laughs> All right, over to Sagan. I just moved up on the middle track there. Uh, yeah, so I was going to go ahead and uh, move up on the top admin track, paying my one meat. Oh, wait, no, it's not paying meat. It's gaining the extra meat. Almost got that wrong because the sims are close together, but the one clearly in the box is iron, which I don't have, so I'm going to rest <laughs> and go up to four. All right, yeah, so iron. then I'm going to spend my three iron this to advance on the admin track, the warehouse manager. That does not cost morale, correct? Correct. It, the only thing it will require is to take your last auto worker and staff them uh, next to Sagan's up there. All right. So here goes my guy staffing. Oh, look at him go. Ooh. Wait, did you just leapfrog me? You paying three? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oof. He's paying three, trying to get get ahead. All right, so I am going to, let's see. Uh, I'm going to move the warehouse manager once and grab two grain for two morale. And then my turn is done. All right. Let's, uh, let's build a truck for an iron. Actually, let's, um, let's upgrade a truck for an iron. All right, I've got so many options now. So many options. Before we forget, okay, you you took care. Of it, I was gonna say it does cost you yeah. a. Um, all right, so yeah, I was still on doing my stuff. I think uh, for me, I'm gonna have to advance one and grab this here food. 
for two morale. One, two. There it is. All right. So I'm going to advance the warehouse worker. And now I'm going to legally grab two different <laughs> items. So, um, except I don't really want coffee, but I guess that's what I get. So, no, we'll get. Um, hmm. All right. I'll get wood and iron. And that takes two morale. Uh, I better not do wood and iron. I better do wood. Oh, I have a problem. I'm going to put those guys. Well, we knew that. I mean, you could mix, you know, you can mix wood and iron. If that's your yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to go move two because I need some, uh, I need people. So I'm going to get um, some more meat and iron here. That's what we'll do. That's what we need to do. And that takes me down to no morale. All right, I'm going to move the warehouse. Let's see. One, two, three. I'm going to move the warehouse manager three. I'm going to spend a buck for that extra move. No, I'm not going to do that. Oh. Um, so I'm moving back three because my truck is full. So mm, I'm just going to yeah. spend one meat. And I'll dump it in this warehouse to hire one worker. Yeah. yeah so one of the things that I'm noticing as Jesse's taking his turn, um, Jason, one of the things I'm noticing about the uh, the warehouses and the goods that are available um, in your play testing, have you ever noticed a trend of players maybe trying to monopolize one resource, just buy a bunch of trucks and just hold the resource on their trucks? You mentioned earlier that the you know, you didn't want the dumping problem to do that, but does that seem to be a, a strategy that some players go for? I've seen, I've seen one player, um, I've seen people try it, but I've only seen one player really commit to it. Cause when you do it, you realize pretty quickly, you're not scoring any points. Sure. Um, sure. because everyone else can adjust. So if, right. if, if, you know, I mean, the worst thing you do would do would be if you would hoard all the meat and the rest of us have to take loans, but mm -hmm. you're not scoring any points because you're just hoarding meat on your trucks. Okay. Um, okay. And so at most you hit me once because I have to take a loan. And if you just keep, you know, I mean, you're, you're going to, um, basically you're putting your foot out to trip me, but you're not moving. So I that stumble, but I still, I stumble, but I still move forward and you're staying in one place. Um, because again, you, you can't score any points with stuff loaded on your trucks. Right. Right. You know, you have, you have to be moving the goods. Um, which we're, we're competing sense. with just a company, so. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's not okay. necessarily in the spirit of the game, so to speak. <laughs> I suppose uh, it's probably me by this working. point. Pick up two wood, it's your turn. All right. Uh, I'm going to dump all my meat as I say that. It was not my intention to, to hoard it. Um, uh, <laughs> so I can pay three meat for three new idle workers, right? I'm yes. still in that tier two of the workers, so they're not they're not that hungry yet. And uh, I think we're just gonna spread these out. Actually, put one there, put one there, put one over there. Yeah, I just noticed there was a uh, and and John, it's you. I just noticed there was a potential like a mini meat shortage because I just happened to <laughs> inadvertently have three meat on my truck, and then I saw that there were some you know other people had some meat on their trucks as well. So um, I thought to myself, what would happen if uh, if no one could eat. All yeah, right. we've, like I said, we've seen one player. People have tried, and then they quickly realize a few turns in, oh, they're all scoring points. They've just adjusted, mm -hmm. and sure, they're scoring sure. points, and I'm not. We had one player who really stuck to it, and they scored the lowest score I've ever seen in the game. <laughs> mm. That's great. I mean, there is there's plenty of tactical play to, already in the game. And that mm -hmm. oh you took that you took that iron I wanted you delivered to that space I wanted or whatever, right? But, um, yeah, if you if you just turtle up and try to hoard everything, everyone else is just going to adjust for a turn or two and keep scoring while you're sitting on your stockpile of whatever. Sure. All right, John, and as you've you seen with, um, yeah, I I grabbed a, a worker and increased my morale by three. Okay. All right, so I am going to now move 
the warehouse manager one and collect one meat for my last morale. Yeah, there are a few players that I've played with who are the chaotic, I just want to drag everyone down type of players. Um, you know, not not a ton of players are, are like that, but I, I know a few who are just like, I want to destroy whatever it is you're doing. That's where I'm having the most fun. Um, and they'll kind of well, like relish I said, I, in... I love... Go ahead. Oh, I was Sorry. saying they'll kind of relish uh, in like I might be last place, but you're right next to me. <laughs> yeah, I would take three more out to deliver this. Yes. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm short now. Resetting. Okay. I'm down. Oh, so you, so you grab your worker back also. Yeah. Put him over here. I have it all windowed in a certain way. Gotcha. And this guy goes back. All right. So once again, we're not quite there. <laughs> you need um, to spend one more morale to go grab something. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend one to build an office for one wood. I'm going to grab this thing that's going to help us for the next when I actually do. Ah, that. nice, nice. Oh, it looks like we're out of offices. Yes, there is oh, a limited. Uh, there's only that. 14 offices in the game. All right. Um, so it's which, me. which again. It, which is what I was going to say, Sagan, is that there's all, I love tactical play where, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, as you're grabbing the offices, you may see what's out there, but I grabbed it not knowing you wanted. I grabbed it right before sure. you. So there's plenty of opportunity for indirect tactical play, but um, I try to test and design where I can't just push a button and burn your warehouse to the ground. <laughs> right, um, right, right. And 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 I and I like that. I like the that you can get in each other's way without necessarily being um, too too take that or too mean. There's a, a few games that I like that, but that's not usually my style of like, you know, you flip over a card and it's like, oh, everything that you were doing is now invalid. You suck. Right. No. Um, in, in in my games, you can be a speed bump, but not a roadblock. To other I players. like that. I like that mentality. Mm -hmm. I uh, moved the warehouse worker forward, spent two morale to grab two wood. By the way, so. I'll move the uh, warehouse worker two or one and grab two meat. And that will require two morale. That's it. All right. I am going to hire another worker for one meat. And we'll just put that here. And my turn is done. Resting up. I'll go ahead and spend my zero morale because I don't have to mm -hmm. to get another office with this two wood that I just picked up. And uh, I suppose I'll put it. Uh, uh, I'll put one here. I'll put one here. And I'll grab this number 11 office, which is a uh, bonus action when I'm doing other things. I can offload goods over there to p get some points, right? Is that, is yeah, that so. Works? From it's it's a free action to move goods from your your truck or trucks to that office. It just costs you one morale each time you move a good, and that office wants exactly one coffee, one meat, one grain. You can split it on different actions. You don't have to deliver them all at once. Mm -hmm. Once it's full, you get six bucks, and the goods go back to the warehouse area. Perfect. So it's a That's way to generate money um, without having to spend workers. And yes, we have tested it um, that it is a good way to get some money. But you won't be able to run away. If you only do that, you won't be scoring in other areas. So it is sure. a good way to generate some money, but you can't just run away with it. Yeah, that's um, my point, that's my overflow plan. Yeah. Uh, yes. So like in the case where Jesse was a minute ago, where he had something he needed to spend, if he had the other office, for instance, he'd be able to dump a wood and iron there to get four bucks. Right. Uh, can I ask at this point in the game, how many uh, how many offices does everybody have? You can look at our boards, you can click but I, on our boards. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize yeah. I could. I didn't realize I could also do that. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah, I just have two. I just bought. Yeah, one. John and I two, have two. You got two, and Jesse's Jesse got has three. Three, but only two are active. Okay. Oh, got it. That's my fault again. Just an oversight. <laughs> no, I, I I got it. I didn't realize I could look at at the other. I like I knew that we. I couldn't look at anybody else's goal cards, and so I guess in my head I was just like, oh, that. I knew it's yeah. meant to be. I knew that was meant to be public information and just the vassal client. I wasn't gonna think about right. it. Anyway, uh, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, John, it's you. 
So I'm going to do something to make Jet Jason happy. Uh, my stevedore is going to go backwards. He's confused, uh, but my office lets him go backwards. And um, I am going to deliver metal to the train, put my worker on the train temporarily, and then spend I draw one morale. Spend one spend, morale. And you draw one um, railroad company tile. And then I'll go ahead and score out the card so everybody can see how that works, if you don't mind, John. Yep. All right. So now that this train card is full in a two or three, or excuse me, in a two player game, it's three spaces. In a three or four player game, it's four. So now it's full. We do a few things. Um, one, whoever has the most workers on the train, we're tied with two, but I got to the most left to right. John has one, then I have two consecutive. So I'll collect $2 for having the most. John will collect $1 for having the second most. Um, and then now, and I'll just move them for you. John will get his two workers back. I'll move them to his player board. I'll get my two workers back. And I only have one empty space. Um, so my other one will go to my on-call space marked with a train in the middle. I'll collect the train card on my play area. And then I'll draw another train card down, which wants meat or wood. Okay. All right, so Jason, I do have um, a question. So you, um, I don't get a dollar just for making the delivery. I only get the train chip, right? And you only Correct. get paid out when the, the train The train is full, yes. You get paid out okay. as far as the money. And, and for instance, let's say that either Sagan or Jesse had delivered that fourth one, mm -hmm. then you would have gotten a dollar. I, I would have gotten two for having two workers on it. And then even though you say you and Sagan both delivered one, you would have gotten the dollar because, again, you broke the tie for having the second most left or right. You got mm -hmm. there first. So right. you would have gotten the dollar, but not Sagan. Right. That's the With only trains, reason I didn't try to sneak in and deliver to that train. Yeah. With trains, you're scoring um, primarily at the end of the game, though you can collect some money possibly for air majority during the game. So I am going to, on my turn, just rest up to three. And you can see as the game, I'll say this real quick, as the game has progressed because of different things John and Sagan have done, they haven't had to rest as much because mm -hmm. they've had ways to get morale. I've rested more, but I'm not going to have to hire for quite a few turns now because I've got four workers, um, two that I hired and two that came back to me from a train. So sure. like I, that's what I was explaining earlier. The first few turns, things may, you know, may um, look similar. That's by design to so new players. Now, granted, when my wife and I play, it doesn't look the same because we've played so many times. Mm -hmm. we're, we're doing all kind of different things. But um, right. now you'll see even with two new players, uh, Jesse and Sagan, the gameplay is starting to be more varied and more specific to what you are, are doing. And mm -hmm. people are going to do or not do certain things more or less based on their own engines. Right. I'm, uh, you know, I, I'm making a white collar company over here. I've got so many office workers. <laughs> it's my turn now. Yes. All right. So we're finally going to do that thing that we were going to do. Um, another thing I was thinking of is going to the trains, but I don't have the workers for it, but just for the future, how many times can you deliver to a train in a turn? As, as many times as you have as morale, goods and workers available to do it. Wow. So if you had, if you had, like, for instance, I have, uh, well, right now your, your max is three. So if you had mm -hmm. three wood, three out of workers and three morale, you could move one space and deliver three of them to guarantee that you would get that train when it would score, you know, you get the air majority for it. Can you pull people out of offices? No, you can never move a worker once they've been placed uh, out on the board with the exception of, like I said, when a train scores, those come back. But right. once you've put a worker to work in a permanent space, an office, a truck, a delivery space that's not a train, uh, an admin track, then they're, they're stuck there. It's expensive to train people, Jesse. It is. It really <laughs> is. Um, I'm not in the position to do that. I'm just going to move the ship. Uh, so uh, we're, we're going to move the stevedore. Let me manage this a little bit. All right. We're going to move him one. We have a red meeple on the train track. Yeah, he yep. was he he was moving him. <laughs> off I got everything board. on one screen so people could see how it's going. He he got confused about where his shift was. It's fine. Yeah. 
to yeah. spend your three morale and your three wood go back up top, and I'll start refilling these warehouses. We got to talking about I lost track of that. Uh, I'm just going to have to rest, so it's going to go straight to John after Jesse is done. All right, I'm going to create a person. So it's going to cost me two meat. Create a person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that costs you one meat, John. Why does that cost me one meat? Because the section you're in wants either one meat or two dollars. <laughs> oh, I've been paying too much meat. The first time I uh, did it, I spent two meat. Okay, um, I'll, I'll, guys, if you don't have a problem, I'll, I'd say let John keep those two meat and just grab a guy if he did that before. I don't mind letting him bother that. No, that's fine. Yeah, I guess um, I misread that. No, that's fine. I well, messed up. And, it's my fault. Well, and I don't mind that because I I sped through the um, the rules teach, so yeah, that's on me if I didn't explain that part properly. But yeah, it's, all right. Well, okay, because that will save me a morale. So okay, so, so just I just real quick, at the bottom of a player board, the first section of four workers costs either one meat or one dollar. The second section is one meat or two yeah. dollars. The third section with four workers is two meat or two dollars. And the last section with two workers is two meat or three dollars. Got it. Thank you, sir. You were kind right. and lovable. I, I try. <laughs> so my turn, I'm going to move the stevedore one space. I'm going to spend two morale. I'm going to grab my worker from my own call space for here to deliver my two grain. And I'll come put on the loading dock and I will get $5 for the delivery plus $1 for delivering. And again, even though it was two grain, it's per worker I put down for a food delivery. So I get, I get $6 total. I'm just going to go delete four of my ones and grab a 10. And then my turn is done. So Jesse, you that, there? Uh, Jesse. Oh, oh my bad. Those? I was muted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I was saying you answered my question, which was I just gained $1 for my uh, ship delivery, not Correct. $3. Yeah. All right. Hey, you're on the ship with me. Let's go. Hanging out. Yeah, we're just hanging. Let's move. I think we're ready to move. Just one over here. Let's go for two, and we're going to pick up two wood for one morale. Okay. Uh, I will reverse this guy and grab two iron for two morale. And there goes my morale. John? I think my plan is almost ready. Maybe. We'll see. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm honestly not playing a long-term plan. I'm, I'm going, let me do this. The, the next five turns, I'll do this, and then we'll do that. <laughs> right, right. Well, I'm in that phase of the game where, um, you know, I wasn't 100% sure, you know, all the tiles that were available as far as office tiles, bonus tiles, um, you know, the goal cards and all that. So, um, you know, what's out there, I'm kind of speculating on, but just the idea of kind of building my uh, my engine up. Um, I've, got, I've got some ideas. Maybe it'll work. Probably won't, since I'm still at literally zero points uh, at this <laughs> stage in the game but it'll be fine okay and john you get two uh railroad company tiles for that i think john might be muted now as well i'm not uh, hearing him come through at all oh yep there we go so it looks like <laughs> i have four different train companies oh no it's one of them the same yes yeah, pacific, yeah. pacific railroad is the okay. same the the lighter background and darker background is how they 
they differentiate which tiles are used in a two-player game and mm-hmm. which tiles are used in a three-player, four-player game. So the darker ones, it's it's the icon, the, the PR is the same. The darker background just means that you wouldn't use those in a, a, a two-player game. Gotcha. I see. I see, I see. All right, so for my turn, I am going to move one space and grab one grain for my last morale. My turn's done. You have a 10. Wow, oh, you're rich. Um, <laughs> let's see. We're going to add a plan, then you just... And you know, just forget everything. Um, do we have a plan? I guess we're just going to rest for now. Okay. I don't think that was part of the plan, but that's what we're doing. <laughs> uh, I think for me, it's going to have to be advancing my admin track again. So that's going to drop an iron back down into the loading dock. And this one really will give me two morale. So yeah, that's it. All right. I'm, I'm going to go ahead, advance the... Warehouse worker one, pick up a meat, baby, and put him in my truck. And that's the end of my morale. Morale zero. All right. I'm going to rest. And your turn, Jesse. All right. I think um, one, two, three, four. I'm going to move the warehouse worker four because of my uh, building. I'm going to pick up three meat. Wow. Meat hog. Well, I need it. And that'll <laughs> cost me two morale. All, All right. right. I think I will be spending another iron, which I'll drop down in the only open space and grab a truck. Grab a truck. And I don't have to pay a morale for that because of my building. So there we go. All right. Uh, oh, and I'll uh, send a guy to the truck. Right. Send a yes. guy to the truck. <laughs> All right. Again, gonna... did it in my head, didn't do it in reality. All right. I'm going to create my last uh, monster in the in that little thing for one meet. And Dr. Um, and Dr. Frank and Newman. Uh-huh. Frank and Newman. So back to <laughs> yes. three morale. <laughs> All right, I am going to move the warehouse manager one space and spend two morale to get these two grain. And my turn is done. All right, we're hiring three people with three meat. Wow. Okay, big, big money. Big meat. So um, I now have the capacity to access two different types of goods when I'm pulling from the warehouse. But I can still grab as many cubes as I want, as long as they fall within... I, I can pay morale for each, correct? Correct, yes. All right. So I think what I'll do is I'll actually uh, just go the one space, and I'll pay four morale to get all of this coffee. Mm. So much energy. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit tired, so I think I might mm-hmm. need it. Won't be long. John? Me. Um. Hmm. Let's go advance Stevedore two spots and get two wood or the warehouse worker and get two wood and that cost me two morale i'm gonna rest and go to three morale all right i'm moving stevedore one We'll deliver this two wood to the ship. Put this up here. And my guy will walk over to the ship. 
for $2. $3. Uh, after, $3. Bonus. Yeah. I have to rest for four. Yeah, so. I'm going to... I'm actually going to rest also, and um, even though I've got one morale left, and go up to three. All right. Um, I'm going to move the stevedore one space and deliver two grain, which I need to move this wood down, uh, for two morale. And I'll put a worker here, and I'll get five plus an additional one dollar for having um, my office that gives me bonuses for delivering food. So I'll get six dollars, and my turn is done. Okay, nice. Um, so it's what not I... you. Yeah. So what I'll do <laughs> is wait for my turn. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't know why um, I keep thinking I'm going after Jason. <laughs> Everybody wants to go after Jason because you see what he does and you're like, ooh, I want to do something like that. But um, <laughs> I'm just going to rest, so it is your turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I don't know if you should be mimicking me because I'm purposely <laughs> I'm, – I'm not playing like I normally do. I'm kind of putting myself <laughs> behind to see how well I can do if I only have one truck, if I don't advance on the admin track, all the things I normally do. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to just chase little goals throughout the game, so I don't know if Wild you want to – <laughs> I'm, I'm sending all this for coffee down here to get seven uh, bucks, I think. You can't do that. For? Yeah, you can't quite do that. You can only deliver two. The gantry track limits oh, how many you can deliver. I see, I see, I see. I did not realize that. Because I haven't delivered yet. I haven't made any money. I am poor. <laughs> yeah. uh, in you, that you, case. But you got a lot of offices. Yeah, I do have a lot of offices. I do. Well, let, right let me one. just <laughs> let me just rethink that. That was there, so I could do two for three. Hmm. Probably what I'll end up doing, and and I have to to move our our dock worker as well. He can't just stay there. If you deliver, yes. If I deliver, so probably what I'll do in that case is. Instead, I will. Uh, so this action, this free action of moving things to the uh, to my bonus office, my one that's got the food pantry on it, um, that's just a free thing. I can do that anytime. Yes, you just pay one morale to move that coffee over there. So, so theoretically, I could pay one morale to move a coffee right now mm -hmm. to that, and then I could move up. And take a um, a grain and a meat for two more morale, right? Yes. So that was one morale, and then two more. So that's three total going down. Um, and then I could even um, go ahead and move them now if I wanted to, or I could just wait and do it later. Well, you can move one because you only have one, one morale left. One. Well, right, right, right. But I mean, it's I can do it as often as I want. Yes, yes. Okay, just making sure. I'll I'll will save it for now. My move will be to to pick up those other goods um, for now. Okay, so I'm going to move the stevedore two spots for free, and then pay a morale to move him one more. Leaves me with two morale left, and then I'm going to deliver two wood to the train. So I pick up two rail tiles. That is your train. And, and so I, I get three bucks. You get three bucks. You get all four workers back. And you do have spaces, your idle spaces and your own call space. You'll claim the train card, which I recommend just put the train card um, like at the top left on the player board uh, where your railroad tiles are because they'll – I've programmed it so that the tiles will always sit on top. So the card, if you place it there, it won't obscure your tiles. And then I'll put another train card out once you've done that. All right, done. And so now how these many, trains uh, are meat or coffee. Yeah. How many trains are in the stack? That is an in-game trigger, right? Yes, there are 10 in the game, but eight are used. Eight, 10 in the box, but eight are used in each game. So there's, I see. there's six in the stack, two that start, and then six I uh, see. to pull from there. I see. 
and two of them have already pulled out of the station. Yes. Mm-hmm. You'll see some games where people don't go for trains at all. It just, it really, a lot of it could depend on how things come out as far mm-hmm. as um, there's only one shipping container that wanted just food. There could be another right. game where, oh. you know, 75% of them want just food. Did I, uh, yeah. I don't think I put my wood out, did I? I uh, know it's still, it's still on your uh, truck. Yeah. Okay. Here's my wood. All right. And then for my turn, I am going to move the warehouse manager one and I will grab a wood to put in my truck for my last morale. Um, it's not my turn. It's not my turn. I don't like. I always think I'm after Jason. It's not my turn. I don't know why either. Um, <laughs> I'm moving the warehouse, and we're gonna pick up some of iron for one morale. All right. Um, it's now your turn for real. It is now my turn for realsies. I will, um, I will move the dock worker forward one. I can make a delivery for a reduced morale cost per delivery because of my offices. So I can put down the meat and the uh, coffee uh, from here. And you that's only have like one a, worker, though. It costs two workers to... Oh, okay. I, the worker so I goes in the spot. You're trying to put them on the train? Yeah, I was just putting the one worker on the train. On a, right here. On a train, it's one worker per cube. Oh, okay. I didn't realize. Okay. I thought that it was like one delivery was both... So I could make a delivery of just one of those goods then? Yes. Mm-hmm. This whole time, I was thinking I needed to to pair up those goods to make one delivery with one No, no, one it's worker. either or. And that's explaining uh, the rule book. Like I said, my, my rules explanation was very rushed earlier, but... Well, yeah, but, I mean, and I I read through the rule book myself. I should have known. I just, um, <laughs> you know, it's one of those things. All right, so in that case, since I don't have the worker for it, I, I guess I could just hire... I, I wait. I should move this guy back. I should move this guy back. I should move this guy over here. And what I'm going to do instead is a completely different thing. I'm going to hire for my one um, meat here, which is going to go you know, a, little, a little meat market over in that warehouse. And as a bonus thing for my um, morale, I'll go ahead and send uh, this grain over to my special secret warehouse secret office and that's what i'll do all right that's john oh sorry um we are just gonna rest and get three morale and i'm gonna do the same i'm gonna rest yeah i was already sleeping jesse okay (laughs) yeah it was clear (laughs) all right i'm going to the meat market that just opened up Welcome. Uh, yeah, I'm going to spend two morale and pick up this three meat here. And that's me. Uh, I will spend three coffee off my trucks to bump myself up on the HR track to a five rest. And I'll, it'll cost me uh, one of my workers that I just got. I'm sitting right there. So, um, and then got to put my coffee back, which I will split up, I think. But that's it. You can wake up now, John. <laughs> John? All right, I'm going to wake up and I'm going <laughs> to get the warehouse worker. And uh, we'll go ahead and get two coffee, use two morale, and then I'll go back to sleep. <laughs> All right. I'm going to spend two morale to move the stevedore the dock worker here once and deliver a wood and a grain to this shipping container uh pay my two morale i'll go put my wood and my grain back in the warehouses um i will collect one dollar for making a food delivery for my bonus and then i will go draw two gold cards and see what i'm going to keep 
And you get an achievement tile for, for that, don't you? And I, uh, yeah, that was the other thing I forgot to say. I, I'll grab an achievement tile and two morale. That was a whole. I'm glad you said that because I was thinking <laughs> of that. But because of the issue we talked about earlier with my goal card window, I was too busy mm -hmm. trying to resize that. And, right, right. So, all right, I'm going to do that. And I, so my turn's done. I'm resting. Same. All right, I'm waking up. All right, mm -hmm. so we'll spend some coffee to advance on the admin track. Backwards. <laughs> no, I'm pushing white backwards. Oh, OK. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I'm going back to sleep now. OK, right. you do need a worker there, John, on that oh, yeah. track. Right I knew it. that. Yep. All, All right. right. I'm going to spend one morale to move the warehouse manager one extra, so I'm moving three, and spending my last two morale to grab two meat. And then my turn is done. Okay. So if I were to put a worker on the ship in the final spot, that's not, that doesn't work like the, um, the railroads in any sort of way, does it? You don't get workers back, no. It just means yeah. that spot can't be delivered to anymore. There's, there's okay. no more available spaces. Well, then I'm going to move the dock worker, Steve, one spot. And we're going to deliver three meat. I think I have enough stuff for that. His, la his last name was Adore. Adore. Steve Adore. Steve Adore. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to the five spot there, and we're delivering three meat. Two, three. This gets me a five dollar thing. And that also gives me the ship achievement, correct? Yes. Uh, yes, you have three workers on ships, so you'll grab that and three morale. Three morale. And well, just one, FYI, three, if you one, want, three, three. if you want, you can delete some of your ones and your five and grab a ten. You just right-click on the coin in the Vassal module to delete the ones you want. All right, I'll do some. Help or also, here. you could just right-click on other people's money and delete it to oh. improve your score relative to theirs. That's true. I'll just take it. <laughs> Essentially, on the on the on the tabletop, you're just reaching over and taking their money. <laughs> yeah. Joke's on you. You can't delete my money. It's not in the rules that I can't. No. I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> that All is right. my turn. Um, let's do this. Let's go reverse warehouse manager and. I will pick up uh, the meat here, and I will pick up the iron. Oh, uh, before you do that, do you want to see where all this stuff goes? Oh, good point. Yeah, that's. All I right, would we love get to, to see. Right, we get to track. talk. We got to talking. So um... <laughs> no, understood. Yeah. All right, it may change your turn. So. You no, it, it absolutely <laughs> will. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, I think if we're going that direction, I might just uh, completely... No, actually, I think I'll... I think I'll go back this direction anyway. Only this time I'll take the meat, and instead of taking that iron, I'll grab that, uh, that coffee, I think is what I'll do. Uh, so that costs me three morale to pick those three up. One, two, three. And then also I can pay one to send the um, the meat over, but I can do that anytime, so I'll just hold it for now. Yes. No sense in refilling the market for, for you when I don't have to. I'll be mean. I think right now it wouldn't be... I think right now it wouldn't be... I, the, I, I it totally wouldn't be appreciate the intention, but there's enough meat advantageous. out there it wouldn't, it wouldn't uh, make a big difference one way or another. No, it, it wouldn't, but you know... If I can right. do it even a little bit, why not? Just stick it to John. That's uh, that's my my game plan motto, right? Stick it to the man. All right, I'm going to advance the warehouse worker one, and we'll go ahead and pick up some wood. And now my guys are tired. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hire two workers <laughs> for two meat. And I'll just throw those out there and grab my workers. And my turn is done. All right. So the meat just landed in this warehouse in front. 
Yeah. Mm. So, so here's a question for you, Jason. Could mm. I send yeah. my meat to the office at the beginning of my turn and then refill my own warehouses the way I want and then take from the warehouses? 100%, yes. Love it. All right. We're going to move a uh, warehouse worker. And let's pick up this two wood here. Or one Mura. All done. Uh, I am going to actually just pay a coffee to bump myself up here and get a bonus goal card. So you bonus. draw two. You're going to draw two. You're going to... The one you don't want to keep, you'll right-click and tell it to send to the bottom of the deck. Got it. So one, two, and let's see what these do. I've got the aid up over here so I can make sure I know what's going on. All right. So are you all right if I go ahead, Sagan? While yeah, no, you, 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 yeah, you can go. I'm just, uh, I'm just looking. Right. Wait. I'm going to go advance on the admin track. And uh, so when I refresh, I go get four morale back. This was a pretty easy decision for me, for the record. Right. Um, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm just resting, so it's your turn, Jesse. Oh, okay. Uh, not these people. So, I have some things. Um, let's move. Oh, wait, let me check my board, make sure I have everything I need. I think I do. Moving Steve. Odor, one space. I'm gonna place our worker in this, uh, what are these called? Cargo holds or something. We're gonna deliver. Just they attach want. him as a barnacle Combin on the bottom of the boat. Yeah, the barnacle. <laughs> I'm going, uh, yeah, that looks right. Let's, let's give a, let's give metal for this one. Uh, iron. Two iron for that, and that allows me to draw an in-game goal card. Draw okay. two, then discard one. All I right. can't discard the one I originally drew, correct? Correct. Yeah. You're it's discarding one dead. of the ones you... Uh... If that was the case, I would have gotten rid of my original one a long time ago. Me too. Because <laughs> I, trying to hurry up and get ready to, to jump into play, I did not pay close enough attention <laughs> to what I was doing. All right, so while, while you're thinking about that, I'll go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and pay my uh, my one. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna run out of. Hmm. All right. I think what I would like to do actually is to um, move our dock worker here, rearrange my truck a little bit so I can keep food with food. And uh, I guess I had a whole nother truck I could combine them. I'll take an iron and a wood uh, for my two remaining morale. All right, my guys are gonna rest and get four morale. All right, I am going to move the warehouse manager. Let's see. Move him one and grab a meat, I think, for one morale. Resting. Okay. Uh, I am going to advance uh, using the iron. I'm going to advance on the top uh, track up there. I'll put the iron back here. So that's going to give me two morale. And it's going to let me pull from both sides of the... Uh, in one action, yes. In one action. So so like where the warehouse manager is now, if you wanted I to could, iron, you could yeah, grab could one grab. From, from each. Yes. I'm good. Okay. I'm going to spend, uh, I'm going to move the warehouse manager two spaces. We'll go ahead and grab a 
meat and a wood and that takes up to morale okay all right let's see um i'm gonna move the warehouse manager once and grab another meat for one morale Hmm. Gonna move the warehouse manager once, pick up two metal, and I'll take one morale. Okay. Uh for me, I will grab uh I guess I'll I'll go ahead and advance um on this bottom track here to uh for a wood. Drop my worker out there and uh, pay my wood, it can go back. I'll put it over here with this other one. And uh, that does not cost me any, um, actually it gains me two morale. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some cash. So I'll pay one morale out to get these three cubes. Um, and let's put them out, let's just put them all together. Let's just put them in, uh, in this spot. I don't wanna waste my effort delivering to too many places and I get, six dollars from using my special space and that's that okay all right i am awake i'm gonna go, go ahead and advance my worker the warehouse worker, one space, and we will get a wood and a wood. All right, and that's two morale, and that's my turn. All right, I'm going to move the warehouse manager once and Grab a meat for my last morale. My turn's done. So, Jason, I'm noticing on this top uh, administration track here, there is a star with no other number beside it. I've been kind of tracking the numbers and the stars. They've been kind of paired together on all the other tracks. Um, am I missing what that star signifies? There's one goal card per track that pays one, three, or six dollars for having ah, reached the first, second, or third star on I see. that particular track. I see. Got it. It all makes sense now. All right. I'm moving up on the top track for one iron. Oh, I got to put a worker. Okay. Um, oh, wait. I don't I have a worker. I can't do that. Uh, Oh no! Where that metal? Where I, that I iron? put it. I put it in the right behind the stevedore, or the dock worker. Oh, okay. Or the the warehouse manager. Um, so just grab it. Yeah, that one right there. All right, we got to rethink some things. <laughs> um. So you cannot go get meat to hire because you have don't have enough space in your trucks. You have a trailer, but it costs two meat to hire one worker right now. Yeah. For you. So it wouldn't get me there unless I you would you would have to, to you'd have to spend two dollars. Oh no, you still couldn't do it. You 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 don't have room for two meat without spending something. Right, right. Unless I have so, a truck or something like that. So yes, yeah. So um, you could either do that or you could spend two bucks to hire. It's whatever you feel. You know, two dollars. How often is that used? <laughs> It just depends. I mean, if it get, yeah. if it allows you to do something that's going to really gain you something, then it's worth it. I mean, I might spend in my games. Everything's relative, you know. I mean, yeah. I might spend two dollars, but it allowed me to go put a worker out that not only gained me five dollars, but it blocked the rest of you from making that five dollar delivery. So it just depends. Mm -hmm. That's a tough call. Um. I mean, alternatively, you could upgrade that truck, which gives you the ability to, you know, 
not have this happen again because you could you'd have the trailers to throw your meat yeah. in if you wanted. So like I said, ne- yeah, neither well, one I'm of those options bit. is better. It depends right. on what your plan is, what the state of the board is at that moment. You know how close the game is to ending. Um, let's be wild card. Let's be wild card. We're gonna spend four bucks to hire two people. Yeah. All right. Let's try it. Somebody's right. gotta do it. Somebody's Show gotta do it. I'm glad, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm glad it was you. All right. I'm gonna uh, go forward and uh, and take some some further resources. So I'm gonna grab the meat from both of these spots. Get my two meat, and then I think I'm gonna also grab a um, hmm, last resource. I will grab. I think is gonna end up being this. Uh, Crane right here. Actually, no, I'll grab a coffee as well. I'll grab a coffee. Oops. So I'm done. All right, I'm going to spend three wood to advance on the gantry track. So, yeah, John, spaces John just likes skipping the spaces. You have to uh, put a worker out as well. Going as fast as we can on vessels. <laughs> I was, I was just reminding. I was just reminding. Yeah, well, you know, it's always good to check on me. Right, but, right. But that's it for me. Okay, I'm just gonna rest. All right. I was just discussing some strategy stuff. Let's um. Let's move Steve Odor. One space. And deliver. I think this is a better move. Let's deliver onto the ship. Uh, two wood for two morale. I just want to point out that is officially. I'm 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 making that official right now. That is his name. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little name badge made. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, Jason, I good. If, Jason, if it ever. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Jason, on the admin tracks, uh, with Sagan getting uh, the first on the uh, morale track, uh, can somebody else get um, a card or only the first person there gets Only the first person. Okay. Uh, I'm paying another coffee to uh, move up on the uh, right. morale one more time. But if, if, if this game ever gets a second printing, I'm going to make sure that's put in the rule book. That his name <laughs> is Steve O O. You know, apostrophe <laughs> door. <laughs> he's Irish. Yeah, he's you know, I've Irish I've known some people <laughs> who 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 have the last name Odor, like O D O R, not with a, an apostrophe. All right, I'm going to go ahead oh, and God. rest. All right, so I am going to move the. I'm going to move Steve there, two spaces. And deliver two meat, which is the max I can deliver at a time, is two. And I just realized with all this talking, I haven't taken care of the warehouse. I'll do that as soon as I'm done <laughs> my turn. So I'm going to move back up. <laughs> two workers to the train. I'll grab my two tiles, which is not good for me yet. And... Okay, that works out. And then I'll go start pulling all this stuff down. I'll just kind of do it randomly here. It's, it's almost all wood anyway, so it's not like it's going to matter. And uh, my turn is done. I spent my morale. I think I need a moment to rest. Uh, I, too, will be resting back up to six. Super rest. I am getting good sleep these days. <laughs> I'll go ahead and advance my Steve, Mr. Steve. I will take um, a. Oh, that's Bill. That's the the warehouse worker. That's Bill. Steve. Bill. Steve <laughs> is the Steve is the Stevador. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a wood and a coffee, and that will take to morale. Actually, no. That's Dolly. 
to the warehouse. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. So I for my turn, thing, yeah, I'm going to move the Stevedore. Well, um, back in because uh, you got to remember the the era of the game um, is you know the early 1900s up to the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. And that was something that, um, I guess, in his research for the art, that was something that um, Harold found, that, you know, um, that what we would call a forklift. You know, they had um, right. <laughs> truck-operated forklifts as early as, I think, 1906, 1908, somewhere around there. Um, but they would also sometimes, you know, refer to a dolly as a forklift. Hmm. Oh, okay. Interesting. Now, so that was like so that was something that he found in his um, because in my in my prototype, I actually had drawn a little picture of a an old you know forklift with 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 the first picture I found. Like I said, I think it was this old black and white from like I think nineteen oh eight. So, really my turn is done. Okay, I'm going to uh, move Steve. Uh, one time, and we're going to go on this ship here for two morale, giving up two irons, two morale, two irons, and I get two bucks. Okay. Um, I think that I will kick this turn off by spending two of my morale to move some goods to my special uh, bonus warehouse. And um, then I'll go ahead and move here the uh, Dolly, our, our warehouse worker. And I'll pick up for four morale. I'll grab three of the grain and a meat. I don't that, see too many grain drop offs, but. Um, and that should take everything off. Actually, you know what I might do? Instead of, uh, instead of spending my. Um, my third grain. I'll leave one grain out here, actually, and I'll spend my last uh, morale point to go ahead and send it um, to get some more more money to use my my special skills. So um, that'll go there. Oh, you and that. that'll go there. And this last coffee will go here, and I'll get six bucks. Love it. Very good. Well, I'm going to go ahead and advance the uh, advance Dolly one spot, and we'll go ahead and get um, one coffee and one wood, and that exhausts my morale. All right, Bob. Well, before I go, Jesse, you get one extra dollar from your last turn because of your office. For delivering ah, good that, catch. Uh, Thank you. I just I saw it, but I didn't want to interrupt everybody else while they were going. I understand. Um, yeah. So let's see. I am going to rest, and that's my turn. I'm going to move Dolly three times. I'm going to pick up some metal. And for anybody watching. Jesse can do that for free because of his first, his starting office allows him to move yes. uh, plus one or two at the warehouse for free. Something I should have been doing a lot more <laughs> early game. I'll, uh, I'll, just, I'll just rest. So I'm back up to six. All right, it's over to John. I think he's taking his turn. He's just muted. Oh, Yep, I'm uh, going to uh, advance on the admin track and spend three wood to go two spaces and do my leapfrog thing and bring my worker here. And bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. I'm going to move Dolly one space 
and grab one meat for one morale. Uh, it's resting time for me. Resting time. All right. I will move Dolly one space. Uh, actually, before I move Dolly one space, I'm going to go ahead and send some goods. I'll spend two, one, two um, morale to send goods to my special office. Um, and I, I, okay, I've lost a driver somehow. Where did he go? I had, I know I had a driver on there. Did you accidentally pull that driver to go place out somewhere instead of the other worker that you have? I possibly could have. I'll just throw this idol up there. I don't know where my driver went, but um, I can. Uh, yeah. Well, while while you're doing that, I'll scroll through and see you can, if I can. You can find count them. Maybe you can, can count them up to make count. sure I've got the yeah. right number. Yeah, just just well, count can, them up. I'm scrolling that... through. Well, what I'm doing right now is I'm oh, scrolling the log. through the, the log gotcha. to see if I, I can gotcha. see. Yeah, I've had that yeah. idle worker for a long time now, so I don't think it would have affected anything. I just um, I just realized there was a. a truck with no driver. Anyway, I'm spending two morale to send two goods out of that truck to there. And then I'll move Dolly. And I will pick up uh, three wood and two coffee, or one coffee rather. Uh, I guess it's going to cost me everything. Oh yeah, no, that's what I want to do. Three wood one coffee in the truck with the other foodstuffs. That sends me down to zero morale. Um, and that's my turn. We'll go ahead and rest and get four morale. All right. I am going to... Let's see. I'm going to move Dolly one space and grab one meat for one morale. I am, uh, for the record, counting 17 workers that I have track of, both in my reserve and well, out there's, in the You can't create extra workers. You're always going to have that number of workers. I'm just going right. to the log to see where I can see that a worker moved from a blue truck to somewhere else. That's what I'm trying oh, to Oh, I see, I see. Well, either way, I've had one in, in the reserve long enough. It's over to me, correct? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I, I, I specifically remember putting that guy on the truck. I probably just moved him. Uh, yeah, I, probably I see it. Um... I drag him onto the a admin handful track. Of turns back, a handful of turns back, Blue Meepo moves from Blue Trucks to the main board. So, yeah, that must uh, be the admin track. Got it. Let's see. Yep, gantry track, Blue Disc. Yeah, because it's when you moved up on the gantry track you did that. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. We're, we're still square, though. That's See, that's one of the benefits of that, that log file. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. But it is back to your turn, I believe. Oh, is it? Um, okay, then no, in that it's still cake... me. I was waiting. Oh, for oh I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I bet the log to... gets annoying to read if uh, there's somebody who's really fidgety with the pieces. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess everything is tracked. Um, well, but that's why you you know you could, I just control F. To, I dumped it. I dumped the log into sure. a uh, into like a word file and just hit control F for blue trucks. Makes sense. I am dumping four dollars to hire two people. Ooh, Jesse's well, almost there. He's pushing the end. <laughs> he is, isn't he? It's, it's the strategy I'm doing. That's that is the strat. Go ahead, Sagan. All right. Uh, and I think for me, it's got to be uh, spending a wood to go up on the admin track here, which I'll dump that down there. And that's going to get me two um, morale, which I will immediately use to send a coffee to my special spot 
and get myself some money. And that is that. Hmm. All right. Um, I guess I'm going to go back one space, deliver coffee. Do I want to do that? Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that, I guess. Deliver one coffee and put her train. Stole the worker from me, or stole the dollar from me. Yep. And then I right. get. So you get a tile. There we go. All right. So then I'll get two bucks. You'll get three bucks. Why do I get three bucks? I'm sorry. I'm. Um, I'm <laughs> you get one dollar. Oh. I'm del I'm deleting three bucks to get a five for the two bucks that I have. And I'm as I'm doing that, I'm saying you get three. Well, uh, I, I haven't. Like yeah, I haven't eaten breakfast yet, so my, uh, so that's where I, we are right now. You get one dollar, I get two dollars. So I've done that. Um, we get our workers back. Um, so this totally changes what I want to do for my next few turns, but that's okay. Um, still worked out for me. So I will get that train card, and I will place another train down. All right. And um, that's it then. So uh, that was John's turn. So that was now, John's turn? Oh, okay. John delivered to a train, yes. Oh, okay. So for my turn, I will move once and I will grab a. Um, I will grab a iron for my last morale. Um, Steve Odor is moving twice to deliver to a boat. Um, and put this here. I'm gonna spend three morale, and we're gonna deliver three irons to this boat for four plus one, so yes, five dollars. Five total, yeah. And that seems to be my turn all right then in that case i will um you know i will make a little wild card play that is breaking from the strategy that i've been doing this whole time i'll move steve and for my one remaining morale i'll send this two wood right here that i picked up into a uh oh wait i don't have a worker scratch that sticking with the strategy I'm going to spend my one worker to put uh, the meat on my special shop, and then I'm just going to rest. Done. Okay. Uh, we're going to move Dolly. Pick up two coffee. I'm taking the marketing approach to this. Y'all are doing all the hard work down at the Dops. I just have a luxury shop in town. I'm just peddling out. Of. It's the food contract office, <laughs> which you've got. <laughs> All right. All right. Let me move this stuff. And uh, for my turn, I'm just going to rest. Um, same. Resting. Okay. I think I'm going to have to uh, walk this back here and grab some coffee and some brain so i'll Brains. grab two coffee <laughs> i suspect and one grain that costs me two um morale and then i'll spend two more morale to send them to my special shop if i can pick them up and uh can't i can't keep i keep picking up my my card so they'll go there they'll go back into the uh to the wide world of warehouses and i'll get some money special shop all right i'm gonna spend two dollars and create another frankenstein and my morale will go up three all right 
I am going to move Steve three spaces, which I can do for free because it's my office. And I'm going to deliver one iron and one meat for two morale and place a worker here. I'll get a dollar for delivering a food good. And then I will draw off camera. I will draw two gold cards, keeping one. Do uh, do we have to hit the achievement tile before we can advance our discs in the uh, the administration section? No, but you can't. Okay. Well, let me let me. You can't you can't advance the. I just removed this one, so it's going to come off. But you could not move on that top track until I pulled it off. Okay, if, that's I, what I, I was. I may have misunderstood your question, but yeah, you would have been stuck at the very next space okay. at the top track. Okay, but I, I thought that was the case. Yeah, but uh, I, and I saw you I were doing that. Wrong. That was the last one. That's why I was asking because it's a question that I had from before, and I just uh, forgot to to ask it. I right. got caught up. So um, since you were taking that last one, I wanted to just uh, address it. For and my so own I I got it. I got my three morale. My turn's done. Nice. In game is triggered um, once these workers... when someone hires from the the bottom section or uh, i think there's only one more train when one more train gets done i think it's pretty close no matter what so if so, i hire one worker that triggers the end game yes and we'll each get three more turns wow. we get three okay. more turns yes because he's the last player hmm and yeah, if sagan if sagan were the last if sagan triggered the end game then Sagan will get three more turns, and the uh, the rest of us will get four more turns because you finish this round and then get three more turns in order. Okay. All right. I moved uh, Dolly and picked up two iron. All right. All right. Then I will uh, reverse Dolly and pick up uh, a grain and a meat, and that takes all my morale. All right, I'm going to move Steve back one spot. And uh, I'm going to deliver three coffee for five bucks. That's it. Uh, just don't forget to spin your morale. Oh, yep. Thank you. In a standard game, you know, not on Vassal, who actually decides where the goods move? The active player. The active, so it would have been John in that case? It would have been John. Yeah, but to speed okay. things up, especially because, like I said, you've only played it once. This is Sagan's first yeah. time. I'm just doing it just to, just to speed things up. Plus, because anytime you play in the game online, like you just you know, noted, it's, it's going to be a little slower, a little longer. Right. Because of click and drag and, and all that stuff. So yep. I'm going to move Dolly one space and grab one iron in my trailer for one morale. Okay. Okay, we're going to move. Huh. I got to think, think ahead a little bit. Just a little bit. A Don't overdo bit. it. Um, one, two. Those two. Uh, we're going to move Dolly once and pick up a meat for one. Uh oh. Uh oh! All right, he's. Uh, I'm gonna have to rest. He's gathering his 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 meat. He's getting My ready to. Monster. He's getting ready to uh, to hire his last worker. Your turn, John. All right, I'm gonna advance uh, Dolly one, and we'll get some wood. And that uses my last morale. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to move one and grab wood. I'll just rearrange this stuff in my truck. 
to put the building materials on the truck and the meat in the trailer, and then I'll spin that morale to go back down. All right, Dolly wants meat in, morale down. Oh no, he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna sit on this trigger till I need to pull it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spend three morale to send some goods back out of my special shop. Uh, I'll put that there, and these two can go here and get my money before I forget. And then um, I will grab for my actual, that cost me three. And then for my actual thing, I'm going to have to go probably just move Dolly twice and grab one, two, three, um, two coffee, um, two coffee and one meat. And that is my thing. That's what I'm done. All right. Well, don't know if this is smart, but I'll go ahead and spend one wood to advance on the gantry track and see if I can get any uh, cards that are better than the one I started off with. See, the real benefit of doing the same exact scoring play every single time is that you never get mixed up about what your score is because it's just a multiple of that number. Yeah. I, I know that I'm <laughs> I'm not accumulating any any little one or two point thing somewhere else. I I love in game scoring. I love seeing how things come out at the mm -hmm. end of the game. Um, all right. So, which is interesting because in my in the third game at Acadians, there's not you know most of the scoring is during the game. Sure. There's not a lot of scoring at the end. There's a little bit, but not a lot. All right. So I am going to move Steve twice and deliver one wood. No, actually, I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm going to deliver one wood for one morale to there and grab a tile. Not what I wanted, but that'll work. And my turn is done. I am hiring a worker. Oh no, he did it. Two meets. All right, look. Let Jesse finish his turn, then I'm gonna take care of something before we finish before we start up with the last three rounds. All so right. Jesse, let me know when you're done. Okay, so you're done? Uh yeah, I just simply hired someone. Yeah. Okay, you put the meat back on. Okay, so what's gonna happen on the the center left of the, the board, right under where Dolly is, I'm gonna slide that disc over well really we would go all the way that that just signifies once he did that we'd slide it but since he ends the round we're going to move to the three and so now sagan's going to start the first of three final rounds where we each get one turn uh all so right. can think about what you're doing as far as uh you only have three more actions for the rest of the game sure so uh my first action is going to have to be to rest because i have no morale uh, in doing that, though, I will uh, also take my bonuses of to send uh, a couple of goods to my secret spot, and that'll cost me two of them. Woohoo. Done. All right. And I'm going to be really uh, score a lot of points with my, sec my turn by resting also. Well, now, I should note that morale is the tiebreaker. Ah, interesting. Morale, morale. So if um, morale is the first tiebreaker, so that if um, you know we're tied on money uh, at the end, whoever has the most mor morale uh, remaining will, would win. You know what? Got so I'm it. Gonna... Got it. Well, yeah. Okay. All right. I just rested. Okay, so I'm going to rest also. Okay. That sounds like fun. I'm going to rest. Okay. So I guess we're into number two yep. of yep. the so final. I'll move it over. Oh, you got it. Final, okay. yeah, I grab it. Uh, number two of the final, final, uh, final countdown. So for me, all right, I've got this one. It's gonna let me pick up and do that. Hmm. Okay. So what I'm gonna have to do for this, I think I might be one action short of finagling 
um, finagle like my way to uh, what I want to do. But I'm not going to be able to do this twice, so I'll just take the cheapest possible way to do it, which is to move up, to pay one morale, to take one uh, grain, pay another morale to send it to my building, uh, which will complete it, and then uh, I'll send it back to... Actually, I'll just hold it here for now. I won't pay that morale for now. I'll keep three morale because maybe a better play will come up. So I'm just going to grab that grain. That way I've got it. And I'll hold there. Because I can always do it next turn if I need to. Yes. All right. All right. I'm going to advance Dolly and get two, two coffee. And Morale's down two. There we go. All right. I'm going to advance Steve down here and deliver one meat and one iron for two morale and put my last worker that I have idle here, which will give me a dollar for delivering um, a food item. And then I'll go draw two gold cards and keep one. And you can go ahead and take your turn, Jesse. I think Jesse might be muted again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stream here thing, <laughs> but you don't. Um, yeah. Moving Steve once, putting a worker on that boat, spending the two morale, and then spending the two cubes. Um, put them over. It doesn't matter. Here and here. Did you say and the stream here is you and we don't? That. Have Have you been telling them right. secrets? Oh, yeah, yeah. So you're not telling me? And stuff Man, like that. that's... They've been telling them secrets that they're not, uh, not telling me. I feel very... I want uh, them to know I'm... the direction I'm going. Why I'm making the dumb move. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So um, it's back to me for my very finalist of final turns. I do not have a worker available. So that really precludes me from doing any fancy stuff. Um, so I think what I'm going to have to do is just spend a uh a um whatever you call that thing morale to get my cube down and score my building one final time which is gonna give me six points and then for my last actual action since morale is the tiebreaker i guess i'm gonna just rest and top myself off you you can't do that i can't do that now if you notice on your player board the, the zero space and the first space have a little bed with some Zs coming off of it. Oh. You can only rest if you're there, and you were at, I think, two morale, maybe? Well, in that case, I'll just send this to my building and then rest. Hmm. Yeah, you can, yes, you can do that. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, I'll get my money, and that's where I'm, where I'm ending. At a nice square 36 bucks. <laughs> Wait. Is the break room, or I'm sorry, is the is this the break room I have? It's one of these. Um, um, have is that an look. optional action? The minus morale? No. It's called a break room. It's not optional. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and move Steve two spaces and then spend a dollar to move him an additional space. Oh, that doesn't work. Nope, check that. I don't have enough people. So we're just going to move him one space, deliver our two coffee for $3. Hmm. Which will actually be $4 because I already spent a dollar. So I'll get rid of this and get a five. Jesse, the rules, state, the, the rules don't say the player may says the okay. player gained. So that's why. Okay. I mean, that's not why, but that's why it's, it's worded that way in the rules. So that, because I know what you're, you were trying to do to keep the morale. Yeah, so. yeah to go ahead and burn it. Um, the and, other uh, option was to move Steve to just burn it that way, but I don't think uh, yeah. he was in a position to do that. Yeah. Just I'm send just Steve rest. on a little jog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just resting and going up to three. Go, Steve. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, there's nothing really for me to do in this last turn that's beneficial to me. This is where of. the 
but see, this is where you know you chose to trigger the end game without. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, so it's it's. Well, the idea had, was that I was going to rest, but um, right, I didn't quite spend enough. To, you know, since you had moved Steve once, um, so I'm just going to pick up some stuff. <laughs> Doesn't really now matter. There, there, there are also there are goal cards that I'm guessing you don't have where you can get points for having goods on sure. your trucks. There's a couple gold cool cards that have that. So so having <laughs> your last turn being going to pick something up and throwing it on a truck could be beneficial. But again, sure. as the game goes, um, you chose, you know, you chose to trigger the end, but you mm -hmm. could have, you know, you could have planned out when you'd like loaded things on your trucks ahead of time and stuff like that. So that was intentional at the time I did it. Oh yeah, yeah. So I, I, I know, I knew what, I knew exactly what you were thinking. So, yeah. so that triggers the end game. Uh, since Jesse's fin or that doesn't trigger, but that is the end of the game because Jesse finishes last turn. So, the mm -hmm. first thing we do is we're going to score any remaining uh, any trains that have workers on them, and they do have one. I have I did that on purpose. Uh, there's one worker on that train, so I will get my worker back. I will get the train card, and I will get three dollars for having oh. been the only person on that train. When I nice. when I realized you were about to end it, I did mm -hmm. that. I got that extra wood just so I could do that. Um, nice. So that's done. So now, and we'll just do this in um, we'll just do this in turn order. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go um, with uh, so we do John first for the uh, the railroad company tiles. So John has three sets of two. Each one of those is worth three dollars. So John will get an additional nine dollars. And then I have one lo loan one, so it's 10. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you do. I'm sorry. You, you have that one at the bottom. I, I, I missed it. Okay. So John's John got 10, 10 bucks. bucks. I will, uh, let's see. I've got three, six, seven, eight. I've got eight, so I'll delete two of my ones to grab another 10. Put me at 36. Nice. And then, Jesse, you don't have any, correct? Right. Um, correct. I don't. So, okay. Me so lastly, <laughs> lastly, we'll do goal cards. And the best way to do this so that people can see it is what I would say, um, uh, we'll go again in turn order. So Sagan place, uh, your goal cards one at a time as I score them for you. Uh, just put them like on the main board, say, uh, where the, the, the in-game turn order track is. Okay, you can put sure. them kind of on that center section of it, just to the left of the black disc. Okay, yeah. So uh, my goal that way cards. I can see them on, on Jesse's. Uh, right, right. My goal window. cards, I have this one, which gives me five points for having the most offices. Uh, Correct. Because I've got five, and Jesse had three. Nobody else uh, went the heavy office route, so I'll get five bucks for that. Right. And then, Is that the only uh, one you had? I've you got have, one yeah. other, which okay. is this one, which is two for every for uh, worker I have in the admin section, which I have four, so that should be eight extra dollars from them, right. if All my right. math is correct. So five plus yep. one plus one plus one, that's eight. All right, and I just moved those off to the side. So now, um, John, if you want to put yours out in the, the same yeah. area in the center left. Yeah, they, mine weren't so helpful. So I get two points for every guy in a boat, so that's six. Okay. And then four points for every guy in a cargo container, and I don't have any. Oh, hold up. Hold your, let me see. Your cards were face down. All right. So I, I, my Bluetooth disconnected, reconnected. So did you get um, – I, I heard that, but I didn't hear for your – for the one for ships, for food delivery for ships. Did you get those? No. Nope. Six dollars? Six, six bucks. Yeah. And was that all that you had, John? Yep. Yep. Okay, I'm going to move those off to the side. Then I'll do the 85 gold cards I have. Mm. So Yeah, you do have a lot. The first one was the one I started with, which was a very bad choice of mine because there's only one out there that has food. So that's $2 for shipping containers that want food oh. only. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Next is $1 per train, and I have three trains. So I will delete... Seven dollars and grab another ten for that three bucks. 
Um, and next is, uh, we'll do this one is for uh, workers on offices. I have two, so I'll get an additional $2 there. Um, next is workers on trucks. That was one of the last ones I got. I only have one, so I'll get a dollar for that. And mm -hmm. lastly is for goal cards, which I have one, two, three, <laughs> four, five. So I will get five more dollars. Give that, me a total of 49. So I also have 49. Right oh, wow, really? Because <laughs> I had 36 and then I had, uh, what was that? Eight plus five, 13. So I guess I have yeah. 40. Oh, yeah, 36 and 13 is 49. So, yeah. Okay. So, um, Jesse, your goal card or cards? You should have two, I guess. Um, yeah. I have this one here that gives me two bucks because I only got one of these. Where is it? I don't see it. Uh, bottom left. I put it in the. Oh, area. you put it there. Okay. Everybody's been putting it in different spots. <laughs> well, um, everybody was putting them on the, on the track on the center left oh, of the board. And then I, I, was, I was moving them out of the way. But I see where you put it. I see where you got oh, it. I see. Those are ones you move there. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And then I have this other one. And that should pay out pretty good. That's $2 for achievement tile that you have. Oh, no. This one. So $4 for building good deliveries. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Six. You have right? six. Oh, you do have six. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so that's uh, 24 bucks. Oof. And nobody yeah. else went for it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. You're, you're putting that up. You're, sure. You just gave me 20 bucks. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll just and the reason all your tens. <laughs> because so, so a couple, couple things before anybody asks any questions. Number mm -hmm. one, building materials pay the worst. So that's why that card pays yeah. four bucks compared to like my shipping container card that paid two. Uh, so building materials, building materials are also used for, for some very important things, getting trucks and getting offices. Um, so in doing that, he didn't do some other things. So that's why, yeah, sure. that's why it pays so much, um, because they pay so little and what it takes to get them are things that are very good for other stuff. Yeah. It so pay enough. So you got 43 bucks. Mm -hmm. John got 27. I got second place because Sagan has six morale to my three mm -hmm. morale. We both morale. have 49. Yeah. And I didn't Great. have to lift a finger on the docks. And, and <laughs> I was and I was really I was really hoping to at least get third place because I I purposely didn't move up on any track, which I always move up on at least two of those. <laughs> yeah, and I cool. never I never built any more trucks and I only built one office. So I was I wanted to see if I put myself behind the eight ball, could I come in a decent <laughs> third place? So I'll I'll yeah. take being tied for a second. Yeah, yeah, that was nice. That was uh, <laughs> the fact that you didn't move up on any of those. That's uh, that's impressive. Well, <laughs> I simply didn't build any engine except getting an extra buck for food deliveries. And meanwhile, normally, that's I, all normally I, I like is engine building. <laughs> yeah. Well, I no, do I, too, but I purposely like I said I wanted to try something different. So. Sure, sure, sure. No, I enjoyed the uh, the engine building in in this one. I enjoyed, um, you know, I you can ask John. Um, I am not too much of a pick up and deliver kind of a kind of a player most of the time. Um, so that's kind of why I guess I gravitated more, le less from the deliveries and, and more towards the, uh, kind of my own little <laughs> thing going on up there, but I had fun with this one. I liked it. So, so yeah. I'm not your favorite designer for sure. Cause all of my <laughs> games are pick up and deliver to some extent. I, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry to say, yeah, but no. you're either running <laughs> shrimp boats, you're, you're running shrimp boats to go fish and sell your catch. You're picking up goods to deliver to the port in this one, or in Acadian. Sure. You're harvesting wood and clay to build churches and camps and hunting um, alligators right. and trapping muskrats or to, to get nice leathers and furs that hey, you can sell for money. But just because it's not my favorite doesn't mean I didn't still have fun with it, for <laughs> sure. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Uh, good game, everyone. Any last minute things to say about um, the delivery of this game? I hope we all have it very soon. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully, like in the next few weeks. Uh, I just want to say uh, thank you to you three for this this morning. For anyone who, who uh, you know, watched live or will watch later, thank you for giving up your time. And for anyone who backed the game 
and, and, you know, took a chance on it. Thank you. I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I've said this so many times, I'm a broken record, but the, the only resource we spend in the world that we can never, ever replace is time. And so it means the world to me that anybody would give up any of their precious time to try out one of my games. I really do appreciate that. Um, it's a labor of love. You know, you don't, you don't get rich designing board games. You do it because you love it. And uh, so I, you know, I appreciate the, the opportunity to try to, you know, create something that someone can have some fun with friends and family and, and you know, have a little bit of enjoyment, especially after the last year we've all had. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to talking about it soon. Uh, any last things to say about Sobo? A reminder, perhaps. Yeah, so uh, the reminder, it's going to be uh, September the 11th. We're having our mini event. Stay posted for specific details about that. We don't have them right now, but we're going to be doing something. And uh, also, it's going to be uh, the end of March. Late March 2022 is when the main event is going to be happening. If you are one of our ticket holders who had tickets for the canceled event of you know, the faded March 2020, though you still are hanging on to your ticket. That ticket will get you into the September event and the next spring event. And you're also going to be able to get new tickets, obviously, if you want to come to uh, to one of those uh, events along. So, um, you know, thank you all for uh, those of you who have, you know, kept your tickets and, and stuck with us uh, through the uncertainty. Thanks a lot for that. And also, uh, I'm going to throw, you know, endorse uh, Crescent City Cargo because like I said, you don't have to be a pick up and deliver uh, fan <laughs> to like this one because I still liked it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to down uh, Jason's volume a bit. I hear him traversing the house. <laughs> oh, actually, no, that was Donna. Donna just came in to get something, so I, I didn't realize oh, my okay. volume was that loud. Sorry. Okay. That's a... I turned yep. it down so, for the... For John, the did I forget anything that... Uh, that nope, needs that's... to uh, be said? Nope, that was good, Sagan. Yeah. Cool. Wow. But yeah, all my games do also, they're not just pickup and delivery. I love engine building. I love pickup and delivery. I love um, I love player boards and I love tracks. And now, I love now you're ability, talking my like language. I said, to, to you do your Rondo. own thing. Yeah. I love your ability, the ability to do your own thing, but also, like I said, while you can't poke at other players, things mm. you do can indirectly affect the game state. So it affects right. everyone. Yeah, it was a fun yeah. time. Oh, thank yeah, you. I, I appreciate really like it. This game. I think Melissa will really enjoy playing this once it comes in. Um, I probably can't get her to do the vassal and stuff. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but once it's on the table, we'll definitely be playing that. I'm, I much prefer it on the table. Yeah. <laughs> I much prefer any, any game on the table, I should say. Totally fair. Captaining the Gulf, yeah. Um, honest, I haven't played Captains of the Gulf yet. Uh, that's something I'm going to have to... If I could find one, bands. Let's well, put the, uh, the, the, we we will we'll have we'll have both of those games at Sobo. So we, in yes. the library, we'll, there'll be Crescent City ah. Carbo and uh, Captains of the Gulf will be there. That's a great question, actually. Um, would that be available come time of Sobo? Probably What's that? Would be okay Acadians? with playing. Captains of the Gulf? No, no, no. The Acadians. Uh, in prototype form, yes. Okay. And you, yeah. I was just wondering if that'd be something you wouldn't mind presenting as an early. Oh, yeah. Player. No, for sure. Oh, no. We were, we were, I was presenting it at Gen Con two years ago. Gen Con 2019, we were playing, we were playing it and it was about 90% done. The Acadians, I started working on about a month after I started working on uh, Captains of the Gulf. It just got shelved as I got busy with the next game and the mm. next game. But Acadians is much ah, further along. Okay. It's, it's much further along than you would expect if you just thought it was number three in the trilogy. But I've actually been working on it for a few years now. I've been working awesome. on Acadians for about three years. Well, there you go. Come to Sobo, awesome. and uh, maybe we'll have a little like Louisiana-specific board gaming corner, right? We'll do all of uh, Jason <laughs> Dinger's stuff. We'll get uh, Jay Bell's Frogs and Rain in there. We'll do all the Louisiana yeah. board gaming you can uh, you can think of. We'll yeah, get John to, has a, to design something. Art. Yeah. <laughs> get all of us together, put it together for Sobo, September 11th for the mini Sobo, and then next year for the big one. But yeah, this will be a, can't wait to get to the table. But for now, 
We're going to sign off. We're going to raid over to Ruel, who's kicking off TLN, which is Tabletop Live Network, 24 hours of streams. We're coming back here tonight at 6 p.m. We're going to be camping here on the stream. We're going to be uh, making some s'mores. We're going to be playing Bosk and playing Parks. It's going to be a fun time. Um, but yeah, let's raid over. Thanks, everyone, for playing. Thanks, everyone, for watching. It's been a great time. And uh, until next time, the box is closed. Bye, everybody. Bye.